do a sound check. Sound check, one, two, one, two. Check, one, two. Can you guys hear me upstairs? Are you guys getting us on? Hi. Thank you. 
And cut. Well, a very good morning. Welcome down to the Safra Singapore Bay Run Army Half Marathon. My name is JK. And I'm SV1 Kelly Latimer. And we are here at the Singapore Sports Hub bringing you all the live coverage of not just the Army Half Marathon, but also the Soldier Strong Challenge. You can't see this, but just in front of us and behind the camera, we have hundreds of soldiers, biceps, <laughs> triceps, quadriceps, all the steps. All the steps. I just have the four steps somewhere here. <laughs> I'm not sure that's an appropriate thing to say, but we are here bringing you all of the action behind the scenes as well as giving you the exclusive commentary of what is going to happen today. So a lot of things going on because people think it's just about running, right? That's right. Well, it's not just about that. The Soldier Strong Challenge, as you can hear, is about adrenaline, energy, muscles, yes. strength. What Lots exactly is it for people who don't know? Okay, so we're going to be explaining the ins and outs of the actual challenge. But what it is, is a metabolic circuit, which is truly going to test our soldiers' endurance, their power, their capacity, and really push them to the edge. We'll be chatting with one of the men who was in charge of actually putting it together in a short while but things to look forward to today we've also got lots of action happening on the stage area as well we've got the Ooh. prize presentations the awards happening for all the running categories don't forget the music and drama company who by yeah. the way celebrating their 50th anniversary this year one of my favorites kim ung will be on stage is the kim with an h the oh. singer, not the actress. Right. Just in case you're wondering, hey, Kim Ng singing. Uh, different. Glad, that, glad yeah. that you could clarify, I to clarify that. You know? We heard her during rehearsal. She sounded incredible. Oh, so fantastic. we're looking forward to having some footage of that a little bit later on as well. But the main reason we are here is for that Soldier Strong Challenge. It's about to kick off in a short while, though. Can I ask you? Because yes. you said metabolic circuit. Yes. Is it like CrossFit? Is it, you know, the same thing? Or what exactly is metabolic circuit? So uh, metabolic circuit is something that basically raises and increases and utilizes your entire oh. metabolism, right? Wow. So you'll be looking at something which is really going to get the heart pumping, get all the action going. Uh, but, but, but we've got more things to get through before oh. we even get to that. So I, right. will, I will be talking through each of the exercises with the man in the know very, very soon. But I think you Ooh. have someone else to talk to. I have someone very sweaty because he has just completed 21 kilometers. We'll move on right here if we can to a very handsome captain. Hello, sir. Captain Crispin from Nine Div. Uh, tell me about your role in the army. Uh, I'm a platoon trainer in um, MTI, Motorized Infantry Training Institute. So we take uh, active units and as men and we train them through the rotations tra uh, rotation trainings. Okay. Did someone pass you a towel because you are so dry suddenly? What happened? <laughs> air dry, air dry. Air dry. All right. So 21 kilometers. Walk me through this. What time did you wake up this morning? Did you even sleep? You did, right? I said at least seven hours rest, uh, SCF. Tell me the whole journey. Um, so I woke up at about 1.15, yep. that's where we gather at 2.45 because we are part of the 9 Division team, right? That's where we gather together, we had energy gels, we had bread together as a team, and that's where we do a warm-up together. It was really like a team uh, gathering and rally with our commander, and that's where we set off for the run. Is there a motto or any like, you know, team name or things you shout? Forging ahead. Yep. Hey, give me more energy, la. forging ahead. Come on, bro. Forging ahead! There we go! That's what I'm talking about. So tell me about the 21K journey. How was it like your timing? Uh, my timing was 137. It was my personal best. I'm really proud of it. And proud of my team as well. Yeah, yeah. But the journey was, was uh, really good. Uh, the little spur of energy in and, and, uh, every formation booth at the water point was really good because no matter what formation you're in, that's where they really cheer you on. And uh, all of us are all runners and cheering no matter what formation we cheer for each other and that's that's the specialty of AHM. Fantastic. The army spirit right there. Army ready, soldiers strong. Thank you very much uh, to our captain. Oh, one more last thing. Any tips to future runners of the AHM? Uh, train as a team, train as a formation, as an army and you will do well. Thank you very much, Captain Crispin. I love that. Thank you very much, sir. Back to Kelly Latimer. Wow, yes. Well, I mean, as you can see behind us, we've got some of the teams who are warming up at this point in time, getting ready and raring to go because you don't want to just jump into these things without warming up. Oh, no, no, no. No injury, please. You, Zero injury today. You yesterday, trying to be a hero, went in straight to the shoulder press station. I was like, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Did like five reps of the weight, and then I told him that's the ladies' weight. She's giving it away. 
I thought I was like, wow, it's so easy. I really am. And then turns out I was so, half the weight. So easy. Right. You just wait and see. Our soldiers are going to be pushed to the limit, but let's talk to the man who is in charge of pushing them to the limit. So join me over here as we join Lieutenant Colonel Johnson Sim, who is the commanding officer for the uh, Soldier Fitness Center. You basically came up with this entire thing, but tell us, what possessed you to think, I don't know, let's take our soldiers and push them to the absolute limit with this really crazy challenge? Yep. Uh, the Soldier Strong Challenge is actually derived from one of our Soldier Strong training modalities uh, used by our soldiers back in the unit. Uh, the challenge itself actually uh, tests multiple fitness components at a high intensity pace okay, in one training session. Uh, specific, specific to the challenge, Okay, the, our participants will be challenged in uh, areas of cardio, strength, power, endurance, and also teamwork. Fantastic. So let's just talk through the exact exercises that we see behind us. We can kind of get a glimpse of a few of the stations behind us, but talk us through step by step, what are they going to be doing? Okay. The challenge comprises of uh, five stations, okay, uh, different exercises uh, targeting different uh, fitness components. Okay, for the first exercise, is, uh, is for the participants to work as a team to function in uh, groups of three okay, to uh, flip a 300 kg tire across 30 meters. Okay, the second exercise is uh, shoulder press 40 kg for 20 reps. It tests our participants' power okay, to lift and to push. The third exercise actually mimics our uh, climbing on stairs in our urban operating environment. It's a waiter back step out for 80 reps. Okay, it tests our participants' endurance in uh, climbing. The fourth exercise is 60 kg deadlift okay, for 60 reps. It tests our participants in uh, strength, in carrying and lifting. And the last exercise is actually 800 meter row. Uh, tests our participants' cardio fitness. Interesting. Now you say the last exercise. It's actually not really the last exercise because then they have to pick up the sandbag and then still leg it back to the start line to pass on to the next wave within their team. There is a lot going on. And I think with Physical 100 last year, everyone was very excited to see, okay, like how can we prove that our soldiers are equally as fit, equally as strong? And I think today we're going to see a true test of that. Which station do you think is actually the trickiest one? Uh, to be honest, every station will be tricky. I think the key uh, for success to, to navigate this uh, circuit is teamwork and also uh, to pace yourself. And actually, I'm very confident of the participants uh, representing the formations today because I've witnessed their training and their hard work they've put forth okay, uh, for, for the past one and a half months. And I'm very sure they will compete, complete the challenge okay, uh, with no issues at all. I have to ask though, do you have a team that you think is going to come out on top? So do you, are you eyeing your top three? Uh, actually, no. But if you really want me to give, 90 because I form infantry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, fair enough. So you heard it from the horse's mouth then. It is going to be hard. It's going to be tricky. JK asked earlier on, metabolic circuit. Can you explain to everyone what it is exactly? Because I don't think I did it justice. Okay. Uh, essentially, it comprises exercises that is specific to our operational requirement. Okay, uh, it is uh, comprising, it, it targets multiple fitness components in a high intensity uh, at, uh, with minimum rest in between exercises. So, it's so basically really, really tough. Yes. Fabulous. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for sharing all of the insight. And now I think we're going to stand by to get ready because as you can see, the teams behind us are forming up. They are getting ready to go. Warm-ups are pretty much completed and we're sitting just a few short moments away from actually starting today. We are going to be having 13 different teams and waves of 554 five, happening later on. So that's going to be the breakdown for today. JK and I will be bringing you through each of the teams who's going to be participating and giving you a little bit of insight as to who is participating, where they're from, their backgrounds, their interests, and just what qualifies them to be here, giving it their all in the Soldier Strong Challenge. Well, we're going to go and stand by. I'm going to rush back up to the commentary booth. You've got JK and I who will be bringing you all the way through this entire process. The teams are expected to each finish within 30 to 40 minutes or so. So it's not going to be a short, quick 
session. We're going in for the long haul, and these guys are going to be working super hard. And so will JK and I. So join us back up in the commentary booth as we bring you all of the action and all the drama as it unfolds here at the Soldier Strong Challenge in the Singapore And good morning, if you just joined us, welcome down to the Singapore Sports Hub Army Half Marathon.
Well, with that horn, it does mean that we have officially begun our Soldier Strong competition here. And they are... The Soldier Strong Challenge is it's nuts. Look at that. 300 kilos, and they're flipping it like nobody's business. Let me tell you, I, I can't even flip a packet of Auntie Anne's pretzels that strongly. Really? I'm pretty sure you could. Oh, uh, of all the things you could flip, well, I'm pretty sure you could flip well, a packet of Auntie Anne's pretzels. I, I, did not I did not define how many pieces of pretzels are in there. But look at these guys. There is a team that's clearly in the lead, and they've been training. Look at that. This is absolutely crazy. They've got a big, humongous lead in front of the other teams. And let me tell you, they, they are, they've already reached the second station. Kelly Latham are absolutely fantastic. Let me tell you, uh, they're doing, what, what is this? This is the clean and this jerk? The or? No, no, this is the shoulder press. This right. was the one that JK had attempted and uh, embarrassed himself slightly with. Excuse me, it, I did well. It is 20 reps of 40 kilos of a shoulder press. As you can see, we've got all the umpires standing by. It's one umpire per person to ensure that there is no cheating going on and everyone is going through. Okay, let's just talk through quickly about who we've got at this point in time. Currently in lane one, there's the 9th Singapore Division Infantry. We've got lane two, armor, lane three, personnel command or perscom, and lane four, the second people's defense force. So that's two PDF. Now, let me tell you, these folks, oh, I just realized, right, it's a yes. mixed teams for certain teams. Yes. So there's men and women. That is right. Tell me more about this. So it is Im it's essential to have uh, not as many ladies available. So uh, the way they have done it is they have made it a little bit harder for the men. They either have to use only two people to flip the tire instead of three, all of them using the heavier weights. So it is. it has been scaled. Look at this man right here, this guy from 9Div. Look at his, he's built like a Greek god. Oh, wow. Yes, look at it, yeah. man. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, that is probably the epitome of what a soldier should look like. Right, he's absolutely. Wow, he's that's dominating this. However, I have to say yes. that uh, armor, based on what we saw earlier, seemed to be in the lead in the tire challenge. Or perhaps this guy was just saving his energy. Maybe he was, but I mean, they do have to go the distance. They've still got several more stations to go. At this point, your legs are burning. And just to let you know, it's 80 steps up the step up, if I'm not wrong. It is 80 step ups with a 20 kilo weighted bag. Wow, that's incredible. Now, a team that you just saw is Perscom. They are right now at the back of the pack, but you never know. They could be catching up because it's a long challenge. You're expecting at least 30 minutes. Yes, Kelly? 30 to 40 minutes is what we're expecting from each of our teams. I think during some of the trials uh, with some of the guys that had actually put this all together, it was about 30 minutes. Uh, the box is not the shortest box that you have there. So it is tough. It is tricky. We're looking at them stepping up just below knee height at this point. Now, we have actually some notes on some of these soldiers, and the man that you just saw on camera not too long ago, who was in frame, I do believe he's second lieutenant, Peter Bezgubov. Nice. Did you, did you know? This man right here, that's yeah. right. Did you know that he started up with martial arts training at the age of seven? That's incredible. Martial arts, I think, is a great foundational sport for anyone to be partaking in. Uh, and the younger you start, the better. It instills a great sense of discipline. It instills a sense of camaraderie as well as teamwork. And it's all stuff that you see and need as a soldier as well. That's right. And we got a uh, lady in frame right about now as they're moving towards armor. Look at armor right there. Once armor, always armor. That's the, the, well, look, the look motto. I was in the movie, like, uh, a boys to men uh, four. And that's how I got the, the tagline. Line. Once armor, always armor. Ah, I'm with a movie star in the <laughs> presence of <laughs> more, more, more like a movie. What a Califair. Okay, right. so we we're just live at this point in time at the moment, and someone just came to say hello, which is great. Which is nice. Yeah. We are literally Charles. Charles. sat up on the third floor on the concourse area of the sports hub, and we've got the bird's eye view. It is. The views that we have, incredible, especially when you see each of these teams at the moment working it out. 80 step-ups, no small feet. I just want to say something, okay? Um, this is sort of related. We have all these soldiers here, all of the, you know, supporters. Only one girlfriend I saw show up for the first wave. So to that lady, I'm not sure if you can see her in frame. She's probably at the bottom towards the right-hand side. She's the only girlfriend to show up to support her husband or boyfriend. 
Well, respect. which is which is great stuff. The rest are sleeping at home today or taking respect. care of the kids. Respect. <laughs> ah, look at this muscular man right here. So these are the guys from Armors. Tell me about this, Kelly, because there's two waves or two teams, right? Yes, yes. Right. So essentially what we're doing is we've split the teams in half. Each team consists of 10 soldiers, uh, in th six soldiers, mm -mm. three and three. Right. So the first three head out and they go and do the tire flip. They go and do the shoulder press, the step ups. As you can see, they're doing the hex bar deadlifts at the moment. They'll move on, do the row, and then they have to grab, will pick up that sandbag and run and complete the course in reverse. So they ah. will run all the way back to the rower, then do the hex bar deadlift, the step ups, the shoulder press, and then the tire flip. I don't actually know which way is worse. Hmm. Because you're frying your legs at either point, but that 300 kilo tire flip truly is a huge mark. I, okay, someone who used, before my injuries, used to work out, I would say it would be better to start with the rows because it's a good warm up, see? And then after that, you move on the other way. It's How an 800 meter row. Cardiovascularly, you are going to be absolutely wrecked. So if you think about your ATP, which is like your energy source that right. you use, right? All these so scientific terms you only, can have, you only have a small amount. It maybe lasts about a minute and a half, two minutes or so. Mm. So if you are frying that completely, at, the, at the very, very start, you're going to find it very difficult to push through some of the big explosive power movements. Oh, that's it true. does take you about 20 minutes for you to completely replenish that ATP. So it's tricky. It's oh. tough. You have to pace yourself. So as you can see, speaking of pacing yourself at the moment, you can see that each of our soldiers are breaking down the 60 deadlifts into smaller reps. Sorry, you said 60. 60. No, I thought it was 16. No. 60, that's incredible. 60 deadlifts, 60 kilos on the hex bar. Now, the hex bar is quite interesting. It's very different from using a regular straight bar mm. simply because it keeps the weight directly central over your feet, which means that ultimately the amount of pressure that you're putting on your quads and your glutes is very balanced. Look at the sweat on my man right here. Absolutely dripping. Uh, just to let you know, this, how many calories do you think they'll burn throughout this entire oh. 15 to 20 minute journey each? Wow. A thousand? <laughs> 500. I'd probably, yeah, yeah, maybe five, five. Because they five continue burning after you work this out, yeah. right? Because even when you're resting, their heart rate will be still up there and they still look at this guy. He's pushing it. He's just thinking of the chuck week that I was going to be having at uh, <laughs> Old Airport Road after this. He's just thinking about that. He's just and, pushing through. And why not? Seriously, I mean, they are going all out at this point in time. And you can see it. Just the sweat glistening, dripping off their bodies. But... So there's a clear lead right now, Kelly. I think Armour is clearly in the lead. Uh, we have nine div very close behind. Although Armour, they, they, they're doing that dragon boat roll, you know, which is very apt because just, I do believe, 400 meters away from us, the uh, Sunday dragon boaters are just, you know, making their way to the waters. That is true. And these guys are rowing. Uh, oh, look at this guy. He's going to break the machine. I tell you, Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to break the chain. That is a lot of focus. Oh, wow. a lot look of focus. Go. Ooh. But can you see the technique pulling all the way back when you row? When you fully extend your legs and pull it all the way back up to your chest, that's when you're getting the maximum pull on the rope. Can I tell you, tell you, give you a bit of a fun fact, by the way? Yes. I do believe that muscular man that you saw earlier was Staff Sergeant Amrit Dave Singh. He lost 40 kilograms over the last three years. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. I need that to do that. I hope I don't take three years to do that. Okay, so yesterday you were telling me that because you have kids, yeah. You aren't able to manage a good diet but see, and get enough sleep. See, see. He's married with two kids. He's got a five-year-old and a six-year-old. Let me explain. That's why he gained the 40 kilos, because he has two kids. So now my kids are, are reaching this age next year. Okay. And then I can lose the 40 kilos. <laughs> I am <laughs> looking forward to see a JK minus 40 uh, kilos. Because you see, the first five years are when you know, the kids are, you know, they're not independent. So you're always there. That's my excuse. That's your excuse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to speak to I'm going to speak to Staff Sergeant later, Amrit Dave, and we'll find out whether okay. that's the case. Okay, I think in that's meantime, a really good idea. We've got supporters in the stands, which yep. is great to see everyone cheering them on at this point in time. But you're looking at the face of someone who is <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> that man is. Oh, oh, look at our other soldiers though. They may be catching up, but Kelly, these are our guys from. I do believe they could be from Two PDF. Are they from Two PDF? Yes, they are. And we have. Second Lieutenant Peter Beskobov, who is, of course, a martial artist from seven years old. 
Look at him go. Absolutely killing it right here. Uh, we have first Warren, Tan Jin Hao, and third Warren, Oliver Lim. as the other. So, so have a look right here, Kelly. I have a yes. question, right? Yes. So on this roll machine, you have to keep on going. And what what drives you? Because it's so, it's like running, right? You either have it or you don't have it in terms of focus. How that do you drive yourself through this? You know what? You say you either have it or you don't have it in terms of that focus. I do not have it. Right? I am terrible on the cardiovascular front mm -hmm. and rowing. I don't know. Especially after you've completed so many leg intensive exercises. It is tricky. So you'll see that. Who was it? It was... One of the armor of soldiers. The armor guys, That's right. The closest guy to us with... Uh, Captain Wesley, I believe. If you turn to the left, Captain Wesley, you would see him. Yeah. So... He is bending very far over. He's not using as much of the compression in the so legs the to pull is gone. back. I wouldn't say the form is gone, but he's probably not ga getting the same level of power drive mm -mm. as some of his counterparts. Right. So just that complete compact fold without the bend in the leg, if you just watch here, he doesn't compress all the way. So therefore, he's not going to get that same pushback that, as you say... Power Yeah. to push through. So you know what? We can't blame them. They've just gone through... A hellacious journey of absolute. That's a word I know, and a right? Half. I know, right? Of absolute punishment. There you go, and I think it shows. Oh, I think it shows. Amma, that's the guy we're talking about. Correct. So because he's not been using the legs, it's going to take a little bit longer in order to push through. So now they're trying. I do believe uh, they're trying their very best to push through and help uh, Samantha. Is that Captain Samantha? Yeah. I do believe Captain Samantha, who by the way has a phobia of heights and water, but she took part in airborne course and a dragon boat to overcome the fears. So you know what? As a dragon boater, she'd be used to paddling. And that paddling means that it's very, very easy for them to be able to pull a lot harder. So I do believe uh, we're going to invite you, Kelly, after this to walk downstairs and speak to some of the participants, which would be fantastic. Uh, I will stay right here. I've got a sandwich to finish, which <laughs> is very Why dry. am I not surprised? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I, I know, this is made with love, okay? By myself, not by my wife, just to let you know. Oh. Yes. She's busy sleeping. Okay. Anyway, let's focus back here. Uh, looks like Arma... Oh, hang on a minute. Kelly. Yes. L looks like Arma has lost their lead, Kelly. Because two PDF have pushed through and they've overtaken armor. Now that is interesting because they were third right. to get to the rowers. And as we mentioned, oh, oh sorry, armor slow got the on lead the back. changeover. Yep. The changeover, very important. Earlier on, we heard from Colonel Johnson telling us just how important it is to make sure that you've got that teamwork. You have to have the changeovers, whether it's sports like duathlon relays or whatever. Whenever you've got a changeover period, you need to make sure that you're not losing valuable seconds. You need the Jamaican 4x100 meter, yes. you know, kind of changeover baiting. You need... Right. The Singapore swimming team changeover. Oh, the Qua good. siblings plus right. Nick, you know, and but the honorary sibling. You need that kind of changeover. That's what you're looking for here. So this fella's got a, a sleeve on his left arm. Does this add any uh, performance enhancing benefits, Kelly Latimer? Well, it depends, right? If he's using compression, there are going to be areas where it will help. JK, you're wearing sleeves this morning well, this as is well. This is more for family events, you know. I've got a, you know, cover up some of my ink. Yeah. Yep. Well, well, <laughs> it, it could be that. My, mine's for uh, what do you call that? Uh, cosmetic purposes. Cosmetic purposes. Yes. <laughs> cosmetic purposes. Well, his could be for cosmetic purposes too, or it could simply be that he is using it to aid compression. When you have compression, though, it helps with the blood flow. It helps with circulating, making sure that your muscles are recovering a little bit faster. I just want to say something, Kelly. Yes. I could be wrong, but I do believe that all the teams have actually kind of like somehow neck and neck right now, because one of the teams were really perscom. Was it yes. Pescom that was really far behind? Yes. And they're now on the rows along with the other teams as well, so they've all caught up. So I think it's definitely showing that this is a very balanced competition. Wow. With all the components included from strength, power, endurance, cardiovascular training, it just goes to show that you can be good at one thing, but if you can't pull through on the others, I think we're seeing a little bit of struggle there. Oh, he's his first station. He's stopping the rowers. Mm. Oh, no. So that's from Perscom, I believe. His very first. Oh, he's, he's got now. He's pushing through now. 800 meter rowers. So tell me about this, right? So yes. the, the harder you pull, the further the distance yes. on the 
pedometer or whatever meter you call it. Yes. But th there's also a lot more energy spent. So you got to have that. There's a word for this. That cadence. The cadence. Yeah, that's right. So you have to keep on going. Yes. And not stop because the moment you stop, you lose it. Yes, because of the well, the, the energy, chain. right? The kinetic energy that you are putting into it. If you if you stop it. It's inertia. So th these are the folks who were from the first wave, I believe. Well, the sweaty ones, at least. Yeah. Uh, that's from Armour earlier. Oh, this guy's going to break the chain as well. Come on, guys, push through. So these are our... Oh, look at this fella. That was a very... Look at, his, look at the definition on his biceps and triceps. He's... What kind of training do you need to get that kind of arm, Skelly? Well, you're definitely working a lot on the heavy gains in the gym. You're mm -hmm. definitely doing a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of strength work. But at the same time, he's, he looks quite lean. So definitely diet. making sure that your diet is on top. He's not having a sandwich like me in the morning. No. Definitely not. Not, no, not, not with no, that no carbs. fried chicken patty no, that you've got in there. No, it's not. It's air fried. So, uh, so air fried with, uh, with uh, zero calorie oil. So I'm trying to, you know, watch it. So I've got I also half calorie mayonnaise. So... But you've also got two giant slices of bread. Oh, which is 105 calories. Because mostly air, ciabatta. But it's still yeah. carbohydrates. Oh, that's true, though. If you're trying to cut, well, you need to be watching what you're eating. But uh, I, a balanced I, I, diet is definitely key. Just make sure that you're having a bit more vegetable, maybe, with it. That's true, though. Diet for these guys will also be quite in intense. They're going to be needing to, because they're burning through about five, 600 calories, they're going to need to ensure that they are making their way through and refueling properly after this. Armour have made their way. They're still in the lead right now. And this fella, look at those arms that was mentioned earlier, as Kelly has said. He is just, look at this, he's eating it for breakfast, this deadlift. So you can see the umpire just on the left there, watching his form, making sure that he's going all the way up. There needs to be a full extension at the top with the contraction of the glutes to ensure that they aren't just bending over and not standing fully straight. A smart technique here is definitely breaking it down into sets. You've How many sets for uh, for 60? Well, at 60 kilos, you're probably looking at about reps of 10. Mm -mm. So six reps of 10 if you can, but your legs will be quite fried from the rower. So at worst, 10 reps, uh, six reps for 10 sets. At best, 10 reps at six sets. Could someone do one set of 60 <laughs> all the way? They would have to probably be superhuman. You're and right. you've got to bear in mind, though, that you want to be pacing yourself. You've still got the step-ups to go, 80 mm -mm. step-ups after this oh, with wow. 20 kilos on your back, on your shoulder, however you want to carry it. It is going to start burning. It will start getting real painful. And I have to remind everybody, even though Armour are in the lead right now, uh, it's not just in this wave. There are three waves in total. So we are actually taking their timing. Yes. So Armour, just because they are first place here for now, even if they win, they won't be winning yet. We have to right. see how the other waves go. We'll be checking in on the leaderboard to see how they all stack up at the end of each wave that we have. Three waves, as JK mentioned, with our 13 teams in total. So we'll be going through and assessing them. But the first wave is really all about setting the benchmark. Absolutely. Can I just say, some of the armor boys right here, they... You know, they don't look as, for example, like the first guy, or this guy, this is the armor guy, but his other teammates don't look as, uh, as him. But they are still doing a great job, Kelly. You know, they're just giving their 100%, and that's what it means to be army-ready soldiers strong. Absolutely. I am thinking that that might be, is that Captain Lim? Well, you have to see as they are making their very their way through. Oh, hang on, the yes. the muscular fella could be Master Sergeant Tong, uh, because yes. it does say here that he was in a bodybuilding show That's in 2015. Right. So hey, he's got the body of a bodybuilder. I've also got a bodybuilder build, but a different kind of body. That is. <laughs> <laughs> round, in different is, ways. round is also a shape. Yep, all kinds of shape that we got. But he is a dragon boater, and again, that makes a lot of sense. The amount of power that you need, the endurance that you need, especially for the longer races as well. Sometimes, aside from the short sprints that you get for dragon boating, from like the 200 and 500 meter sprints, you also have your 800 meters, your one kilometer sprints, uh, one kilometer distances. So there's there's a lot going into that, and I think dragon boating is a great way to build camaraderie. I, are you and ready for this? that's the same sort of thing that you'd get Are you ready for this, for this fun fact? Yes. Earlier you saw the Master Sergeant Tong, yes. the very fit guy in the armor. He did 90 push-ups for IPPT. 90. How wow. Do you he probably broke the machine halfway. Look at this fella right here. Yes. 90 push-ups for IPPT. I'd be lucky to do nine. This guy got 90. What? Absolutely incredible. How, what, 
What was yours? Oh, I'm excused. I'm PPT. <laughs> After my knee surgery, I've got four <laughs> knee surgeries. So back then, I didn't do... Uh, back then, it was pull-ups. We had shuttle run. We had the 2.4 uh, standing broad jump. Uh, right now, we don't have any of those. We only have the sit-ups, push-ups, as well as the 2.4. Oh, hang on a minute. Something's happened. Did the reserves take over? Oh no, this oh. is the next round of three. Oh, so, so we actually made a mistake. We thought they caught up, but actually it was the, the team that was still in wave one. It's all right though. They can still potentially catch up, Kelly. Right. Going to be a bit of a stretch. It's going to be quite think. hard. I think Arma is really doing a solid job at this point in time. But they can try their very best. They're still giving their 100% Kelly Latima. Of course. You have to. This is the Soldier Strong Challenge. If you are not proving that you have what it takes, you don't even you haven't even earned a place to be here. But they have clearly earned a place to be here. They have been selected as the creme de la creme. And they're doing a fantastic job. Now, I just want to say right here that we want you to know that if you are watching the live stream, please like and share it. I'm just checking. I'm just sharing it. We've got 121 people watching right now nice. uh, at home. So uh, why are you guys awake so early? It's like 7 in the morning on a Sunday, guys. To support these incredible people. Anyway, interact with us on Facebook. Drop us your comments as well. We would love to hear from you. We've got Sing Nung who's saying um, good, morning. good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's for breakfast, guys? Um, Chia Tech Tea as well. Good morning. And oh, I can't read this Mandarin word. It's in Chinese. I'll just say hello and good morning to you as well. Can you try that, Kelly? You're looking at the Facebook comments. Chang. Chang something. All right, Mr. Chang. Zhao Sang Hao. All right, so just to let you know, if you just joined us, we are here at the National Stadium Singapore Sports Hub. Yes. And what exactly is this challenge, Kelly Latima? Well, at this point in time, we have our soldiers going through a entire challenge called the soldier strong challenge it consists of several stations one two three four stations including a run uh, five stations rather they have a 300 kilo tire flip they have the weighted step ups with 20 kilos 80 reps of that there's the 20 reps of 40 kilo shoulder press the 60 reps of 60 kilo deadlifts followed by the 800 meter row they have to complete this in teams of six three at a time and it is hard work absolutely fantastic because yusuf on facebook just said good job to these guys if you've got a word of encouragement for our soldiers both male and female who are completing in this then please send them your love Send them your support and cheer them on. They are going to be looking back at this footage, looking at all of your comments and looking forward to seeing your encouragement. Can I just say the cameraman, if you look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, it looks like the Tom Cruise from Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> he's got his equipment right there. Can you just see the cameraman right there? Yep. He's, he's just looking for his, what's that lady's name? Uh, from um, Emily Blunt. He's looking for his Emily Blunt. <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow. That was a great movie, by the way. Uh, Tom Cruise fighting aliens. All right, so this is our very absolutely super fit master sergeant. Can you imagine having him as your master sergeant? He'll just be like, he'll be giving you pumping and push-ups. I would be inspired mm -mm. if if I was having him as a master sergeant. I'll be yes. terrified. <laughs> uh, you'll be inspired. I would be inspired. Uh, I think it is very inspirational, especially when people go through and and. Sort of like take on something such as bodybuilding, which is a very tough sport to partake in, right? Because mm -mm. it is so much the physique is everything. But at the same time, to make sure that that is functional strength, functional bulk, that's tricky. So they are right now at this step up 80 reps in total. And the, these are a pain to the knees, I have to say. Brutal. That's why they've all got their knee guards, probably for, uh, just to be safe as well. Although I have to say, look at the, look at the, these are the, Folks from the other waves, I believe. Yep. And they are just, you know, trying to strategize. What would be, would be your strategy, Kelly Latimer? Uh, ooh, what would be my strategy? I would say that I would. So you see how he is loading on a single side at this right. point in time. Mm -hmm. So his left leg is Taking what is weight. bearing the weight. But you'll see how he steps up with his right. Ah, it's strategy. A very, it's a very good technique. So you're driving up with your right leg, but you're weight bearing and loading on your left side. So whilst it is sort of 
whilst it's still hard, right? Mm -hmm. At least you're sharing the load. If you had the load over on your back and you were central, that would mean that you've got a lot more weight to push up on one side. Here comes Arma on the uh, penultimate station. This is the shoulder press. And they're trying their very best. Oh, look at this guy, though. Master Sergeant. I was just struggling yesterday with the... How many kilos is it per side, I believe, in total? Is it 40 kilograms in total? For this one, for the men, they have 40 kilos to push. The ladies will have 20. This includes the bar. The weight yes. includes the bar, yes? Yes, it does. And this is incredible. Look at that. They got a Now, if you're doing this at home, please don't do that. Um, you know, throw the bar on the floor because your neighbor at the bottom will be making noise. That is but correct. <laughs> at the sports hub or the gym. I don't know, the, the phrase that I was like, if you're strong enough to pick it up, you're strong enough to put it down. Gently. Yes. That's yes, right. So, But here is okay because they're in a competition and uh, we are in a controlled environment. There's no neighbors downstairs. Probably the Come MRT. On. Come on. Oh, have they already finished? They the have. Wow. They have already finished. Incredible. Now they're moving on as a team to the 300 kilo tire flip. And you'll see that... Talk to me, what's the what's the technique here? Talk to me, Kelly, tell okay. me about this. So from here, you really need to drive from the glutes. You don't want to be rounding your back too much. You need to get under that uh -huh. and really lift it up and then heave and drive with your glutes, not just up. You want to be driving it forward. And what they've done here, interestingly enough, is that they've switched the central man. The central man does wear, bear a lot of the weight uh -huh. and they've done a switcheroo. So oh, at least there is no one burden on one guy. So they're rotating through it, they're working on we're working as a team and ensuring that they are sharing the load. Now, guess what? Two PDF, they were in third place, I believe. They're now in second place. Incredible. Wow. We talked about that catching up, but I think just to see it in the flesh is quite remarkable. And they could even, oh, I'm not sure about overtaking, but they're trying their very best. But this strategy of Armas is just almost there. Yes, let's go. Well, thank you very much. Kelly is actually going to be going downstairs right about now so that you can absolutely have a one-on-one -on -one with the folks from the Soldier Strong Challenge. Kelly Latimer, I'm not sure if you can see her. You will see her in just a bit. She's just rushing down to meet the soldiers and hopefully get a bit of a soundbite or two. They'll be like, you know, hyperventilating in the meantime. <laughs> All right, so if you just joined us, good morning, Facebook. Faisal Fa Ferus on Facebook just said power to the people. Thank you very much for joining us, of course, for the Army Half Marathon Soldier Strong Challenge. Whoa, I just got some uh, of the comments on YouTube. We got Tian Fa Sai. Tian Fa Sai has just um, really dropped a whole host of tips right here from ChatGPT. Thank you very much, Tian Fa Sai. You've talked about how during exercise it is important to coordinate your breathing with your exertion. You talked about uh, inhalation during the preparation phase. And you also talk about uh, heavyweights taking deep breaths. Well, thank you very much to Tian Fa on the YouTube comments. Wow. Uh, Philip Chu, good morning. Philip, Kuz, Philip Chu says, I'm from Madeka generation. Thank you, everyone, for your service. Feeling so safe right here in Singapore. Well, thank you very much, Philip Chu, uh, Madeka generation. Do appreciate it. If you are looking at the teams right here, uh, one of the teams currently at the very back of the pack is Perscom. Uh, big shout out to Perscom. They're still giving their 100%. Uh, they, of course, these guys actually got the the sandbags, which is kind of like a baited in the 100 meter run, yeah, the four by one. They got it uh, the last out of all the other teams, so they're trying their very best to catch up. But in the meantime though, as you can see right here, uh, the next team closest to them, these are the nine div boys, nine div boys made up of third warrant officer Bikremjit Singh. We got second warrant officer Sean Tan and master sergeant Lim Tsao Wei. They're just trying their very best to absolutely conquer this tire to push it it's 300 kilograms of pain but they are just doing their very best to conquer this and they are almost almost there there we go one last push fellas you got this come on ah congratulations once again to our boys oh one more just one more and we can say congratulations right now nine div well done guys fantastic stuff all right, so once again, good morning to our friends. Kenny Wong, good morning, Kenny. Kenny says, good morning, these guys are inspiring. Well, I agree as well. Team Panthers, where they're from. Nine Div, absolutely giving their 100%. Uh, Perscom, right now, pushing, doing their very best in the step-ups. After this, they still got a few more stations. They got the 
shoulder press followed by the tire flip. So Perscom got at least about, I don't believe, maybe 15 to 20 minutes more of this challenge. They are giving their 100% and trying their very best to push through to complete this. Uh, Kelly Latimer should be speaking to the winning team from Wave 1. That will be, of course, our friends from Armour very, very shortly. Kelvin Sim says, doesn't matter win or lose, to be here, you guys are the best already. Well done, Kelvin. I agree on that as well. Doesn't matter whether win or lose. As long as they're here, they showed up this morning, waking up at 2, 3, 4 a.m. to join us. Absolutely inspiring. So big shout out to every single soldier in the Army Half Marathon Soldier Strong Challenge. So they're right now on the step-ups, 80 reps on the step-ups. It's not easy, I tell you, man. You know, we're just thinking about all of these step-ups, it is absolutely brutal, I tell you that. So they're trying their very, very best to do this. And while you're thinking, oh, I can do this, mate, wait until you try it. Yesterday, Kelly and I actually took our hands onto this challenge. It was not easy at all because you're thinking if you do it one station, could be doable, but you're doing all at the very same time. And I have to, you know, salute every single soldier giving their 100%. And we're going to pass it over to Kelly very shortly. Kelly Latimer. Thank you very much, JK. I know you've been admiring this man from up above. And I thought, you know what? Who better? Uh, from all of them, he's probably also the sweatiest. So, Master Sergeant Tong, I thought we'd just check with you. Great form. Absolutely stellar performance. You guys coming in first there so far. We'll have to double check timings and all of that, of course. But how do you feel having completed that round? I think uh, everyone plays played a part in uh, in uh, completing the race. Everyone trained hard together. Everyone know what we need to do. Uh, we did our last meet TTX, and we have a great coach. Everyone's willing to put in the effort, so we got number one. Fantastic. Obviously, number one for your wave. We've still got two more waves to go. And I just want to talk through a little bit of the strategies and tactics that you guys use. I mean, in that last bit for the tire flip, we saw that you guys had switched your central man. Uh, were all these tactics something that you'd already thought of? Or was it in the moment, we need to switch it up? Uh, this, it's all thought, thought through because uh, we need to get a uh, tire balance. So uh, I realized that the guy on my right is a bit uh, tired already. And the, uh, the balance of the tire is not there, so I have to swap him and uh, keep the man maintain the balance of the tire so they can keep the tire straight and go forward. If not, it will wobble and will cost us some time. Yeah. So, how long were you guys training for this? How how much time and effort have you put into making sure that you guys would be first in this wave? We've been training for every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the past two months. Yeah. So, on and off, like some of us, we play sports. So, on other days, we also continue training. So, yeah. Fabulous. Well, Armour has done a cracking job. Guys, I want a team cheer. I want a, a group huddle and a team cheer. Are you ready? What's up, Armour? What's up, Armour? Very nice. Finishing as strong as they started. They are definitely soldier strong here. We're going to be talking to two PDF in a moment. But JK, some of your thoughts. I mean, now tell me, what do you think? Mm. Can I just say, Monday, Wednesday and Friday training. That is a lot of training, by the way. Can you just believe, in addition to that, these soldiers were also doing sports on the other days. That's why they are first and that's why they are army ready, soldier strong. Now, I just saw some comments right here on Facebook. Under says, is it only strong men? Where are the women? Well, there are actually uh, women in between each team. So every team, they're supposed to have both men and women in the teams. Well, some teams, Unfortunately, due to certain units, they only have, for example, men in there. However, their challenge will be a bit different. So they got like additional weights and more that they have to make up. But when it comes to the challenge, there are men and there are women in each team. So have a look up, you know, some of the uh, challenges right here. Every single one of them, in fact, they've been training like absolutely crazy. So in the meantime, we're going to push it back to Kelly Latimer. I'll be speaking to another team. Let's have a listen. That's right. Well, I've got two BDF with me at the moment, and we're going to get first reactions. I mean, these guys we saw earlier on, they were in third place at first, managed to catch up to Armour and come in second in this wave. A remarkable feat to actually be able to push through, overcome that. What was going through your minds when you were in third place? No, seriously, all, all we want to do is just do, do the best we can uh, and catch up to the next team as fast as possible. That's really all in our mind, yeah. 
Right. And did you guys have any strategy switch to try and see how you could you know, like switch it up a little bit, mix it up, make sure that you could get the extra edge? Yeah, definitely height is one of the factors. We kind of vary the height between the first and second team. Uh, other than that, it's really all about the grit, the resilience. Uh, it's up to the individual to push one another on. Yeah, I think the team spirit is right there. Yep. And in terms of training, preparation, and everything that you guys have done, I mean, you, you look like a really fit bunch of individuals, right? You have to be to be here and competing in this. Uh, what did you guys do in the lead up to this? Uh, we train multiple times. Uh, every week we meet up, uh, run through the whole sequence once. Uh, we do trial and error uh, on the sequencing. Uh, uh, who to be in which uh, team and which wave. Yeah, so on and so forth, until we reach the like, optimal point, and that's where we are right now. So I have to ask though, is it harder, do you think, being in the first leg or the second leg? Because JK and I were wondering, tire flip first or tire flip last? That has got to be a tough decision to make to decide which, which person's going to do the first and second leg. Yeah, um, second wave is definitely, is definitely harder. Um, primarily because you're, you're, you're so tired from all the stations and you have to split about 300 kg tires. Yeah, that was, uh, that, was kill that was a killer. Yeah, so so we decided to uh, reinforce the second wave, put it three teams, right, uh, three three man wave. Uh, so uh, so that you know we have the energy to, to to carry the tire all the way to the finishing line. And for you right now, what is burning the most? Is it your glutes? Is it your quads? I I have to know. Oh my quads, my glutes as well. I mean, I'm breathing pretty heavily right now as we speak. So yeah. Well, everyone is still super exhausted. So we're gonna let these guys catch a bit of a break. But guys. Up for a team cheer? Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stay fast, we stand. Lions! There you have it, 2PDF with their stellar performance, which got them from third place to second place. JK, it's back to you. All right, Kelly Latimer speaking to all the teams uh, at the ground of the Soldier Strong Challenge. You're yeah, having a look right now uh, of the Singapore Sports Hub National Stadium. This is the athletes welfare area as the 21K runners are coming back from the half marathon. So Kelly will be speaking to another team, I do believe, right now. Let's go back to Kelly. Oh, almost, almost. So she's gonna be speaking to them very, very shortly. But in the meantime, though, let's have a look at the uh, runners who are coming back from the Army Half Marathon. Oh, let's have a look at this. This is the Tiger Bum Active Station where the runners are enjoying the massage, post-run massage. There's a short queue for the post-run massage. And on the main stage, by the way, is where we have music and drama company uh, performing. In the meantime, Kelly Latimer, let's hear from you. All righty, I'm here with Nine Div, who earlier on, Lieutenant Colonel Johnson Sim has said he was rooting for. Uh, but, but, but I've got that's some Dave here with me. Tell me a little bit, how do you feel? JK was also ogling over your muscles. So how do you feel having completed that? Uh, honestly, I thought uh, it's a lot tougher today given the fact that uh, we were racing uh, head to head on with the other competitors. So it makes it uh, a lot different from how it was uh, back in training, given uh, the adrenaline and all that kind of stuff. Do you think the environment and just being side by side your competitors just amps up that whole maybe anxiety, the nerves, the tension as well? Yeah, I, I completely agree that it does. And uh, to, to add to that, uh, the venue itself, uh, like being National Stadium in itself, I believe. Uh, for me personally, I've never been here before and to be here uh, on my first time and uh, competing with other formations at, a, uh, at an army event, I, I felt that was a great opportunity for me and the rest of the team as well. And then with regards to the actual event then, it is a great opportunity for you guys to go head to head against those other formations. Do you think it's a really good benchmark of where you guys could be, where you guys need to be and what more you want to do to make sure that you guys are soldier strong? Uh, I would say it's a good benchmark. Uh, but. Uh, this is not just uh, one of the components that we are looking at. Uh, combat fitness is another thing altogether. Uh, but uh, as what I said earlier, it is a good benchmark, but there are also other aspects to fitness components and uh, what Soldier Strong really means. And what does it mean to you? Uh, it means uh, being a tractor, meaning I can run, I can do this, I can do combat tasks. Uh, basically, I can do everything that a tractor does. Amazing. It's nice to see that you guys have got such a great camaraderie as well. Towards the end, we were looking at all of you cheering each other on, rooting for you. But it was nice to see the other formations rooting for you. When you're in that sort of scenario and situation, when you're pushing yourself to the finish line, what does it mean to have the support of everyone? It doesn't matter which formation you're from, everyone's rooting you on. How did that feel? Uh, I think uh, more often uh, I start to uh, usually shut out the environment. 
and uh, start talking to myself and start uh, digging deeper and uh, try and find that why. Why am I doing it all for? Uh, so definitely you, you can say Singapore, your, your friends, your family. But to me, it's, uh, I always uh, go back down to my two kids because this is the reason why I'm doing it for. There you go, JK, he's doing it for his kids. You should do it for your kids too. I'm looking forward to see you in the gym. All right, gentlemen, team cheer. Let's hear it loud and proud from you guys to round off your first wave here at the Soldier Strong Challenge. Let's go. Ahead. Hands up. And there you have it. Exciting times ahead. We are ready and raring to go for wave two. We've got another set of teams who are gonna be joining us on the field of play. But trust me, it's no game out there. It is hard work and these guys are ready to get to it. JK, it's back up to you. All right, so we are right now upstairs having a look at the timings. Okay, so these are the very final scores. Arma in first place for wave number one with 26 minutes and 49 seconds. 2PDF, 32 minutes and 12 seconds. 9 Div with 34 minutes and 14 seconds. And unfortunately, uh, Perscom unable to get a final timing right there. But well done to every single team, regardless of the timings. As long as they showed up today, they are absolute champions, 100%. As the comments on YouTube have said right here, we have Cool uh, Kiki Kit, who says, impressed synchronization of every single teammate. We got uh, friends like Xian Ang, Shian Ang, who says, great event, thank you to the organizers. And also, big shout out to Kelvin Sim, who says, it doesn't matter win or lose, to be here, you guys are the best already. Thank you every, very much to every single person for commenting or for joining us right here on the socials. We really appreciate it. In the meantime, though, joining us back upstairs, at level three is Kelly Latimer, who, by the way, all my fans right now are questioning, you know, you, know, you saying things like ogling at the men's muscles. All of my fans <gasps> having the wrong impression of me. Well. 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 I just say you 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 look like you're sweaty from all the guys you've been around I and know. girls. <laughs> I was like brushing up against these guys. I was yeah. like, oh. Oh, that's a lot of sweat. I needed a bit of tissue. Yes, but still, these guys, can I just say, uh, and women, Yes. you know, all of them just giving their 100% and absolute fantastic wow. stuff. It is incredible. When mm. you go down there, the atmosphere is quite incredible. I mean, especially when it was Nine Div who were legging it to the finish line earlier mm -hmm. on. And you could see that they were tired with the tire flip. You could see that it was a struggle. And I don't know whether you guys caught it, that final flip didn't get them quite over the line. They had to do one more. Oh yep. my goodness oh. me. Everyone on the floor was just rooting for them mm -hmm. and it was great to see. I think, well, absolutely fantastic. And it's nice to see so much support from everyone online as well. I mean, the comments coming in as well. I think if you can just, just keep those words of encouragement coming through everyone wants to hear everyone wants to see them as well and we're getting as there are more people finishing the run we're getting more people sitting in the stands and spectating as well and i think as we embark on the next wave we're going to get even more crowd coming on to cheer and let me tell you the next wave they are going to be featuring signals guards you're going to look out for that one also third division softy mi as well there so you go you're looking at signals at this point in time and they are just giving strong signals because <laughs> they are wearing what? gloves. Some of them are wearing gloves. So tell me about this, right? Yes. Does it make a difference if you wear gloves or not, Kelly? Well, it depends, right? Because if, you, if you're a sweaty individual, mm -hmm. like myself. And me too. Um, if you're a sweaty individual, what you really want to do is make sure that you're not going to be losing grip on your bar, especially when you are doing stuff like, when you're doing 60 hex bar deadlifts mm -mm. the last thing you want is to be losing grip we've got guards featured here at this point and they are absolutely giving their 100 percent even the warm-up as you can see right there and i just realized something kelly you know just mm. talk about the, the the footwear of some of these participants yes some of them are wearing very flat shoes some yes. of them are wearing running shoes yeah but there's actually a particular type of shoe that's recommended when it comes to these kind of exercises, yes, Kelly? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, they're not exactly running per se, so they do kind of want to be in a slightly flatter lifting shoe, mm -hmm. or at least a shoe which has a little bit of cushioning just for the plyometrics that they'll be doing with the step-ups. But you do want a very sturdy base. We are standing by now for the time and the horn to go as we flag off for our second wave here. 
We had shots there of third div and Safti MI. So we got a big, big crowd, as mentioned earlier by Kelly Latimer. All the Army Half Marathon runners coming back. They started at 4.30, I believe. Yep. So most of the runners should be back. Oh, here we go, Kelly, wave number two. That is right. We are off and underway. We've got guards going out there at the moment. And representing guards, we've got Selwyn Ng Leaping, as well as Ong Chung Guang in our first leg of their wave. Now, I'm not sure if you are on the socials, but I'm going to bring this up for you. If you're on YouTube, there's someone called Tian Fa who yes. has used ChatGPT to give all the tips <laughs> to these participants. Look I love it. Here's yeah, so a ChatGPT tips. I love it. So this is about rhythm, consistency in breathing, exhalation. <laughs> Thanks for the additional insight for us. Tian Fa Sai. Tian Fa. Yeah, amazing. Uh, Elvin Tan, who's obviously from God, says, always ready, ready to strike. Very nice. I'm liking the support that we're getting online. Keep it coming, guys. As you can see, our first wave already off and on the shoulder press. Look at them go. Wow. So these guys are having a closer look right here. Oh, hang on. Signals. So, so they're both wearing black right here today. Yes, so it does I, get a little bit confusing. Yeah, so I have to look at the logos. But Signals uh, right now in a very, very small lead. Oh, hang on a minute. We got another team that's moving on to the front. It's third division, Kelly. Yep. They're doing a step up. So there's 80 reps for the step up. That is incredible. So this is this is just not. Oh, and I just realized, right? The supporters right here having a look at their teammates and they're screaming away. As mentioned earlier, when you're walking down, I wanted to ask you, did you see yes. that one solo girlfriend? No, I oh, didn't. Oh, did not see her. She, Unfortunately, that was not my priority. Because I, I realized, right, that um, yes. you know, only one girlfriend woke up. Super bright and early to support. But well, maybe the rest of them are running. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they yep. are taking part. Maybe the they are marathon. taking part. Okay, so you got signals there currently moving on to the step ups. And again, interesting to see, like when I was chatting earlier on um, with the armor guys, they were talking about the strategy that they'd had, and it really was a very heavy strategy focus. I wanted to ask you about that because that, that is in armor trained three times a week. Yes. In addition to that, they also do sports on the other days they're not training. I mean, I mean, are these what are these guys? That's just cr incredible. Superhumans. Super. And in addition to that, they also have to do their you know army you know armor stuff, which is you know do training, firing of the weapons, you know, and going to the outfield. Amazing. All right, so let's talk about this. There are women in there as well, Kelly. Yes. People just joined us. Tell us uh, why there's, like, there's so a So we've mix. got a bit of a modification for the women. As you can see, the women for the step-ups aren't doing, uh, aren't using the weight. They mm -hmm. aren't using the sandbags. They're right. just going in. Uh, they also have a slightly lighter bar, so they'll be lifting 20 kilos for the overhead press, for the shoulder press. Right, so these are the folks right now for the step-up. It looks quite close, if you ask me. Every single team uh, right now at the step-up station, 80 in total. And after this, there should be about two more. Tell me about the other two stations we can look forward to for people who just joined us. Okay, so in total, we've got the five stations, right? We've already seen the tire flip. We've got the shoulder press, the step-ups at this point in time. We'll move on to the hex bar deadlifts, uh, which you'll see just a little bit ahead of these guys before they move on to the 800-meter row. Interestingly enough, when I was talking to the teams downstairs, they were saying that being in wave one is definitely an easier and better flow compared to the reverse. Because because earlier we had a we had a bit of a debate, and I said it would be probably easier to start. But they, they were saying about how the tire flips are actually an insane thing to do after going through all the stations. Okay, yes, it absolutely is. We'll see Tradock in action here in lane five. Oh, so they actually and came they in are, from they were they were supposed to be in wave one. They got shifted to wave two, um, and they're joining us here. But I don't think it's because they're they weren't late. We saw them. Right, one, two, here. three, four, five. All right, there yes. we go. So they've been moved. Now we have uh, five instead of the four we saw earlier. So and right it's now. Third Warren Satya, Captain Ang Tia Ray, as well as Major E. So all the very best, our teams you just joined us. This is the Soldier Strong Challenge. And Earlier in wave number one, it was very clear that Arma had a six-minute lead wow. in front of their competition. Ah, yes, you got to see the timings. Yeah, which is incredible. So what was the timing of the finish? Okay, based on my memory, it was 20-plus minutes, I believe. Wow. I think it was 27 or 26. 
That is incredible. Right. That is incredible. We were expecting our teams to finish somewhere between the 30 to 40 minute mark, but I guess it is pushing them. But the thing is, with different waves, what you'll notice is that it's a little bit harder to push through. Mm -mm. Sometimes, because if you don't, if you're not keeping track of your timing, right, you may feel like you are first in wave two. But wave one was but much wave faster. one may have had a faster pace. Right. So it's always not something you can take for granted. Look at these guys already on their hex bar deadlifts. That's incredible stuff. The guys in the yellow are in third. Third div. div. And look at this guy go. He's just bouncing. Bounce. Bounce. Look at that. Too easy for him. Well, he with that bounce, he is getting a little bit of energy returned, right? So right. he's banging it down and getting it back up. Guy on the left, though, has a very rounded back. Oh, Probably not the best sort of form you want to be aiming for. That's not a good form right there. No. Injury could be coming. In. So please, uh, you got to make sure that he watches his form, especially the lower back. He might have to visit the sensei uh, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Some acupuncture. He does look quite tall, though. So he may be quite tired. And he's just pushing his very best. All right, here we go. These are our friends from Guards. Moving right now to the next station. Now, remember... Oh, hang on a minute. And now, yeah, I was just wondering earlier, I dropped a WhatsApp to my friend from Guards. Yes. Wondering, why are the Guards wearing CKF on their T-shirt. Yes. So my friend from God said, close-knit family. That's what CKF stands for. No way. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, that's brilliant. I really like it. And actually, you can see that they are very tight as a team. Mm -mm. Obviously, with sort of like... T-shirt also very tight. <laughs> <laughs> on some of them, yes. yes. On some of them, absolutely. But sort of like when you're looking at the camaraderie that they have, we had... Uh, Okay, well, yeah, I look? think it was Captain Ung, I think, who was going in. She's coming into Soldier Strong because she wants to challenge herself. So just to let you know, um, I got a question, Kelly. So yes. each team minimum one girl, yes? Yes. Unless you're, say, from commandos. Unless you really don't have a girl. Right. So what's the strategy right here? Do you want the girl at the start or the next wave? Well, considering that all, th all the teams are pretty much in agreement that that first wave is a bit easier, you probably do want your female in that first wave. And it gives you an opportunity for your second leg to then catch up. Right. And, make, and sort of like power through a little bit faster if they need to catch up. But if there's a little bit of a delay, if she's a little bit slower, then at least you've got the opportunity to catch up. If she's in the second wave, you don't have that. So that's why uh, the guards have put uh, one of the uh, soldier strong ladies, but she's doing a fantastic job. Can I just say, she's just giving 110%. But going back to that close knit family earlier on, I think it was a little bit of a struggle for her with the overhead press, but the team really stuck together, really helped gel and was cheering her on the entire time. And I think that just goes to show that that close knit family means everything. Absolutely fantastic stuff. So one of the things uh, I learned today, CKF on the guard t-shirt means close knit family. Now, big shout out to Lim Tik Kyung on Facebook who says forging ahead. And Kenneth says thumbs up, very nice. I'm thinking of peanuts when I see the thumbs up. <laughs> Not sure of the... Are you just hungry? Yeah, a little bit. I thought bit. you already had your sandwich. I know. I uh, should have had a bit more calories in there. McSalty69 says, let's go Sergeant Major Jeremy. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, Sergeant Major in there. So I do believe that they may be referring to one of the competitors right here. Have you got a name right there, Kelly? Is that uh, Sergeant Jeremy Chua, perhaps? All right. Could be Sergeant Jeremy Chua. All right. In the meantime, though, oh, let, look at this, Kelly. Yes. One of our soldiers right now on his knees. Oh. It's not easy, I tell you. No, it is not. He is belted in. He is giving it his all. But that is still no mean feat. That's from Safti MI. So these are our folks right here, of course, giving the absolute all. One of the camps with, um, I just wanted to, because, you know, we go Safti MI. Yep quite uh, regularly for the parades. And, uh, and uh, I just want to give a shout out to all the staff right there because Softy MI, it's one of the camps where, where the car parks are really far away from the parade grounds. Okay. I just want to put this out there because you were talking about how the first few years of your children's life, right? it's very hard for you to train and uh -huh. stay in shape. Yes. Um, Major Young from Safety MI. Uh -huh. Two years ago, I used to train CrossFit often. Now, mostly just train in baby fit, where I carry the diaper bag <laughs> and run after my son's lightning hands before he puts something in his <laughs> mouth. That 
is what parenthood is all about. Yes. You can see the crowd support at the moment filling in. Everyone is there rooting for these guys. We've got Tradock here who are giving it their all. Can I just say, Tradock has got the branded shirts right there. Yes. That's uh, your brand. That's my brand. Yeah, they've got branded singlets. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's have a look, uh, look at the faces of all the soldiers. Speaking of Tradock, though, Major E actually has a gym with a rowing machine at home. He has a living room with no TV. Whoa. He took away the TV and put a rowing machine in there instead. He, so I am expecting big things from Tradock in the rowing department. He's like uh, House of Cards. <laughs> they got a, if you watch House of Cards, yes. they got a rowing machine in the show. I don't know, very random scenes where they have random rowing scenes. Just, uh, brilliant show just on Netflix. Casually, yeah. just casually rowing. Rowing in the middle of the night. Mm -mm. But it is a great way to burn calories. It is a very uh, inclusive exercise, obviously, the recruitment. Oh, look so at you this see guy how right he's here. pulling it overhead. Is he's trying good? to get that last mile. He's trying to get the last mile out of the rope ah. Ooh, the, and go the full way. Look at, look at the official behind him, though. Official behind him looks like a bouncer from a club who's gonna make sure that he does his 100%. There, this is a lady from Guards right here, close knit family on the CKF t shirt. You're wondering what that means and stands for. And oh, hang on, we've got some comments right here on the Facebook. People are waking up right now. Thank uh, you for joining us. Good morning. Ray Chong says, Corporal Isaac, let's go. Chan Singh Ki says, cheers to all. And Andy Idris Ass is their open house. Is that open house, Kelly Latimer, today? Uh, no. Right, we're actually at the uh, Safra Singapore Bay Run Army Half Marathon. Uh, unfortunately, only open to our participants. participants. That's right. So, uh, Corporal, Corporal Isaac, Isaac Lee. Mm -hmm. He actually used to represent his school for track and field. So the running portion of this and the cardiovascular endurance should be okay. Oh, he's but javelin, it was javelin. Though. What's he throwing he here? All right. Throwing his weight. Yes, right. Yes. Uh, well, tell me more about uh, Corporal Isaac Lee so that his friend um, Ray Chong can find out more about his friend. Well, he actually participates in a lot of road cycling with his cycling club. So again, that cardiovascular endurance comes back into it. Cycling is not an easy sport. He enjoys participating in fitness challenges. Just finished Spartan recently. Wow. So uh, he is already fighting fit. We've got another shout out right here from Prem Angelo. He says, CKF, woohoo, go Captain Ng from Guards. Wow. So we're gonna say hello to Captain Ng from Guards, by the way. And uh, guys, we have our captain who is giving 110%. Captain Ng Lee Bing. Yes. Who only picked up gymming at the end of last year because uh, RMJ for two months. RMJ is uh, running, marching. I don't, is Jay jogging? I could believe Jay may be jogging. Running, marching, jogging. Yes, excuse. I thought you were going to say running, marching, javelin. <laughs> oh, all right. So, so he's just making a comeback right here. All right, in the meantime, though, I want to remind everybody right here, if you just joined us, thank you very much. We're at the National Stadium Singapore Sports Hub for the Safra Singapore Bay Run Army Half Marathon Soldier Strong Challenge. That is quite the mouthful. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is quite the mouthful. I, I know. We've got to give more shout outs because everyone's asking us for shout outs. Okay, all Ma right. Major Poison. Who's Major, Major? Poison? Major Sam? Poison Sam. Let's have a look. Right, that's, right. A, that's an interesting nickname right there, like a cobra. Well, I'm seeing a major Samuel E, but that's he's probably. in wave two. Oh, okay. So maybe that's him. But we've also got the Sergeant Caleb. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Live up to your call sign, Mr. Mr. Muscle. Muscle. Oh, sorry. Jay is jumping. Thank you very much, Zafir. Yeah, Jay is jumping, not jogging. Jumping. Sorry, it's been a while since I actually, you know what, uh, Zafir, my, uh, my, my medical history, I'm excused RNJ, excused lower limb for life. Because I've had wow. four knee surgeries. So, four? Yeah. What did you do? Football. Oh. I should be doing. I should be doing the Soldier Strong Challenge instead of football. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of, of Soldier Strong, behind yes. us, you might not see this, but there's soldiers carrying bags and uh, probably making their way down, just warming up for the next wave, which is wave number three. Wow. And uh, some of the other soldiers right here just jogging around. These may be uh, soldiers who just finished their their army half marathon. All right. Look at this. Kelly, we've got the next wave already. Sorry, what a sprint. I wouldn't say next wave, but the, the next the next team. This is Safdi Amai. From wave number two. And they're moving. Look at that guy. You just, he just did the the, um, the Henry the, Cavill cock in Mission Impossible the. Ghost Protocol. You know, in the toilet, where he guessed his. 
You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Okay, we've got more teams that are making their way over. It's guards now that are legging it to the rower. We've got so far Safdie and Third Div who are on the rowing machines currently. So that's uh, Master Sergeant Jengjit Singh who did the Henry Cavill arm cock before he went onto the rows. We need to rewind there, put that on TikTok. Okay. Okay, get, get a timing on that live stream. Someone save that video and we can put that on the TikTok. Absolutely fantastic. All right, look at that. Speaking of uh, fantastic, uh, guards, look at that guy right there, Kelly. Look at him go. Um, the form is a bit different, though. He seems to be, you know, really locking up his knees for this. Yes, it's so what he's doing, he's got, no, well, not so much that it's not recommended. He's actually got a great knee drive, but he's not leaning very far back. So he's not maxing out his pullback. So more of the strain on the knee, yes? Um, a little bit. You probably don't want to be jerking it too much, mm -mm. but I'm sure he's had a lot of practice in his position. That's what he's comfortable in. And as long as he is legging it to that 800 meter finish line for the row, whatever gets him there fastest. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Look at these soldiers go. All right, now, I have a question as well. Yes. I, I realize, right, especially when it comes to people training in the gym, going for CrossFit. Um, oh, that's a shot of one of our producers, Samantha, speaking to some of the soldiers right there. Samantha, who just graduated from a master's in Nanyang Technological University, Master of Media and Communication. Wonderful. This is something that you're familiar with. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, she was my classmate. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I just Congratulations ask, to you both. Well, back to my question. Why are they wearing such long socks? That's the question I have. Style. Oh, is it, is it just not also because it's of the... It's just style. Is it not also the bar? I read it so they don't get scratched by the bar or something. Well, the thing is, you're using a hex bar for your deadlift, so ah. you're not going to have that same scratch along your shins. So, so today... Uh, so today is purely style. <laughs> it's just as me uh, aesthetics. All right, fantastic stuff. Now, he just joined the Soldier Strong Challenge. Each team must have at least one girl, unless your unit uh, does not have a female. So if you're having a look right here, we have one of the ladies. I do believe they are from... Stradock. Stradock, that's right. Oh, no, they're not from Tradock, they are signals, from Signals. signals. Yes, yeah, Tradock yes. has the branded... Tradock is in the singlets. They've got the branded singlets right there. Um, sponsored, maybe, by their boss. We don't know. <laughs> in the meantime, though, let's have a look. Guys, right there, they have sent a very strong-looking team for the uh, next step. Oh, look at the, te the teammates and chariot leaders. So, earlier on, we were talking about how in your first leg, you can sort of like pace yourself, then your second leg can try and make up the difference if need be, right? So that's what I think we're really seeing with guards at the moment. I think we're seeing that they're going to be pushing a little bit further. We got a few comments right here from uh, Ray. It says, Captain Ryan, National Dragon Boat Rover. Let's go. I believe that that is Captain Ryan Quick from Third Div that we're talking about, Dragon mm -hmm. Boat Enthusiast. Oh, best push up, 110 uh -oh. reps. We talked about 97 just now. 100 pointer wow. for his IPPT. Incredible. What? That's insane. All righty. Now we have uh, Anan We as well saying, I see already, I tired. <laughs> uh, is that your sentiment? Too. That's me too as well. Now, at the very same time, while you are joining us right here at the Singapore Sports Hub, uh, if you're on the live stream, please drop us a like and share and follow as well. So give us that love and we will try our very best to give a shout out to whoever you want us to shout out to in the meantime. All right, let's have a look right here. Uh, these folks in the yellow singlets, Kelly, they are from our good friends at Third Div. And th oh, they're like flying through this. They are flying through this. I mean, look at that, powering through that deadlift. But if you look at the guy in the back there, you can see his quad definition. Whoa. And his, quad, his, his quad separation. Look at the concentration on this lady's face right there. Absolutely, hey, this, 100%. This is not easy at all. And, focus. Yep. But so, obviously, as we said earlier on, mm -hmm. breaking it down into the various sets so that you don't just tire yourself out. They've got the step ups right after this. No, it I, is not easy. I just want to say something. So the guards, uh, they took an early lead. They lost their lead towards the end. Right now, they are trying their very best to catch up. So the guards who put in, I would say, the stronger team in the second leg of their wave. Do you think they can catch up Kelly Latimer? You know what? I think they might have a good chance. I think during the overhead press, 
and also the tire flip. Mm -hmm. I believe that is when they might they might be able to stand a chance to catch up. You gotta turn the tables at the very best position you can and make a comeback, just like Manchester United yesterday. If you're watching the football, two nil down after four minutes, uh, but we somehow managed to come back. I say we because I'm a Manchester United fan. Yes. Uh, unlike Arsenal, who uh, tried to come back but they lost to a 10, or not lost, they drew to a 10-man team, conceded one of the last-minute goals. But in Man United, through Bruno Fernandes, the captain, came back 2-0 down to win 3-2. So we never know. Guards could make that comeback as well. They could absolutely make that comeback. And I think one of the places that they can make up the difference is also here in the deadlift. By taking shorter rests, they'll be able to make up a bit more of the time that they lost earlier on, especially after the rowing. And we'll be able to see them hopefully progress through to the step-ups a little bit quicker but it's looking like they're getting tired. It is showing. Now, this lady right here, by the way, trying her very best to push through. She is from Signals, and she is Major Yilin. Uh, she enjoys playing sports, and this is my favorite word right here after yes. last year's Ami Open House. She enjoys Tabata. Ooh. You remember Inche Tabata, uh, Senior Warrant Officer, Leong Teng Ki. <laughs> He's not here today. Oh, he may be actually running. Maybe running, maybe right. running. But I, I love Tabatas. They are a great way to really get your heart rate up. You know, if you search Tabata on YouTube, there is this uh, group of, I don't believe, Filipino CrossFit enthusiasts. And then their video always, always is the first video on YouTube when you search for Tabata. And he's, have you really? seen it? Yeah, no, I have not. Yeah, so when you got the time, you're watching right now, go to YouTube. And then you type in uh, Tabata exercise, which is T-A-B-A-T-A, -A -A, and you will see these. Oh, on oh, this change now. Oh, it's, yeah, these are the guys. Sorry, are they are they uh, Filipino? It looks like they may be Mandarin. I oh, think I think they're right. Chinese. Oh yeah, I think they are as well. Sorry, oh, was it Taiwanese? Okay. Anyway, yeah. So th that's the first. Possibly, but looking at the video, I can understand why they are the number one hit. Yes, they are. It's got over 11 million views. So if you want to find out what Tabata is, just like uh, our lady who is taking part in the Soldier Strong Challenge, she is absolutely uh, killing it. Now, in the meantime, though, these are our very strong and super Safety fit soldiers MIs. from Safti MI. Let's have a look, Kelly. Yes. You were downstairs there earlier. Yes. What's the energy levels like? Because you can't. Oh. You can't. You can't feel it from up in the commentary right. booth, but we can kind of sense it from when we look down. It is electric, I think. It is supercharged simply because everyone's adrenaline is running high. So th there's a lot of sweaty individuals. I'll, I'll <laughs> grant, I'll, I, won't, I, won't, I won't lie. There are a lot of sweaty individuals, but these guys are going all out and you can really feel it. The, the energy is palpable. You can see it, you can feel it, you can hear it. They're cheering along their teammates at this point, and I think it really goes to show. Now, I got a shout-out on Facebook, but I don't see this name inside our list. Uh, but, oh, I do see it right now, actually, from 3rd Division. Lieutenant Marie, who, by the way, according to Ray Chong, late nights in the office, early mornings in the gym. Wow, what a champ. Oh, Lieutenant Marie uh, achieved 100 points for IPPT. Wow. Likes to travel, takes leisure walks, likes to hike mountains overseas, and was part of the Presidential Gun Salute personnel for NDP. Wow. Mm -mm. Hats off. What a legend. So we're going to have a look at her very shortly as the camera pans towards the yellow singlets. Lieutenant Marie Chang should be there. She is. She's the lady with the focus face earlier during the deadlifts. Yep, that's Lieutenant Marie Chang, yes? There we go. Fantastic stuff. Big, come on, give me that smile. She can't hear us, but yeah. I just want to say, give us that smile, Marie. So the camera's on you, Marie. Give us 100%. She's, she's looking at straight in our eyes right now. She is she's fully focused on 100%. the task at hand. And I think it really, it's hard. At this point, your, your quads are burning, your glutes are dying, and whether you are weight-bearing or not, this is tough. Now, you've been there. I can tell from the way you're, you're talking. Tell me about I don't, what goes through I your don't, mind. I don't like step-ups. I right. really don't like step-ups. Just It is brutal, you know? The the weight that you get and the feeling that you get on your on your VMOs, which is like your the muscles on your inner knees. That connects in there, yeah, right? right? Th oh, that it, it is fired up. But talk to me, though, because yes. when it comes to working, especially these, these men and women right here, there is that wall, but once they cross that wall, 
that feeling that you get at the end of that, tell me about that feeling. Oh, that is elation. That right? is absolute elation. That is a feeling of being able to achieve absolutely anything. And I think it just goes to show that you are capable of so much. And the moment you break through that barrier, the moment you, you get through it and you go, you know what, I can do this. I've, I've got the capability. That's when you know you're golden. You're so, on the home stretch. So if you're watching right now, you are at home, you're enjoying a chai tao kue or a chi kue in the morning or your yu tiao, you know, hope this inspires you. It's inspired me. After this, I may be going to do some workouts. You may be going to do a workout. 9% chance. 9%. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's not 90. Uh, it was a 9% chance from JK. I, mean, I did take a walk here from home. Well done. So this morning, so because I couldn't drive. Baby steps. My, my wife needs a car this morning. So I walked here from home, from Kalang. So we are here at the Singapore Sports Hub in case you're wondering where this all action is taking place. National Stadium. Now, the teams that we have in this wave, by the way, they are from Tradoc, which are wearing the branded black singlets. Who else have we got right here, Kelly? We have... Also, we've got the Safti Military Institute in the black singlets. In the bright yellow is third div. And also guards with the CKF on their khaki t-shirts. And also not forgetting our good friends from... Signals. Signals. All right. So in the meantime, speaking of which, these are the boys from Safti, Safti. am I? We have Lieutenant Brian Ang, Master Sergeant Jung Jit Singh and Major Samuel E. So these three commanders are giving their 100%. These are the boys right here who are also supporting, maybe taking part, Tradoc friends, enjoying a bit of water, chilling. Could also be their reserves. Oh, that's right. You're actually because right. Because some of the team, well, each of the teams also have reserves just in case of injury or any need of uh, a replacement at the last moment. And I think it's very important to make sure that each of our soldiers are listening to their bodies and understanding that they are what they're capable of and when to push and when to hold back as well. So no matter who you are, what you're doing, thank you so much for joining us once again uh, online for the very special Army Half Marathon Soldier Strong Challenge. No, we got some of the soldiers coming back right here. These may be runners, you know, Kelly, for the Army Half Marathon or 10K. Coming back to the stand to support their fellow soldiers. We are on the tire flip now, which means that we have got Safti MI leading the charge Whoa. at the moment for wave two they are standing alone and very far apart from everybody else in the field wow can i just say that means guys they're not managed to catch up they're still on the step ups and wow absolutely killing it right here safety mi towards the final few steps kelly latham as the sun is rising already risen actually lost track of the time it's already 8 p.m a.m Oh, sorry, AM. <laughs> Not enough sleep right <laughs> Not here. Enough sleep. Sorry, he is, uh, he is functioning on a different time altogether. And on the stop shot clock over there, we've got 27 minutes on the clock. Wow. Kelly, I'm going to be heading downstairs to speak to some of the finishers. You take care right here. I will be filling it in for JK at the moment as we stand by to welcome our second team. We've got third div who are currently making their way on the tire flip and battling through guards still to catch up as they head on over to their tire now they have pulled back slightly and have just started their tire flip the question is do they have it in them to be able to catch up and close the gap between them and third div third div looks like they're tiring if you pardon the very bad pun guards powering through it and there is a slight bounce on what they're doing as they're pushing forward but earlier on we talked about that drive that you need for the tire flip but then i lost sight of in the distance traddock in our very far point but there you go it is third div that need one more flip to cross that line it's traddock over and the far lane there that look like they're going to cross the line third unless guards can pull off no no, Traddock got it straight over the line. So they are done and dusted. It's guards in third place then. And they've sealed the deal there. So one, two, three, four teams across the line.
a solid showing there from Safdi MI. Safdi MI, Tradock, Third Div, Guards, all of them back. We are left with signals. That shoulder press is hard work. It is not easy. And they're going all out at the moment. Major Elin is now done. We've got just one more in signals. It is hard for the men. It is 40 kilos going up and overhead. 20 reps of that. But that team camaraderie, that team support, not just from their teammates, but from the people in the stands as well as they look on and cheer them on, rooting for them. There we go. They are done and dusted with the overhead press, so that shoulder press now done as they move on to the tire flip. Talking to Arma earlier on, they were saying how important it is to make sure that the balance between not just the central flip, but also left and right is so important because if you don't have the balance and the coordination between left and right, you're looking at a sideways throw to hit the finish line. It's 30 meters of flipping this 300 kilo tire. Back breaking work. You can see it in their faces at the moment. You can just see that tired exhaustion that they're facing. Their bodies are starting to burn. There's very little energy left at this point. And we've already heard it. This second leg is the most brutal of the two. Finishing on the tire flip when you have already depleted all of your energy sources, when that final five to eight meters can feel like 50. Absolutely incredible. We've got more comments coming in online. Third Sergeant Dominic, Bill from 100% Australian beef. But look at these guys. Alrighty, so with hopefully just one more flip, we will be able to call it quits on wave two here at the Soldier Strong Challenge. Here we go. The final flip to get our signals over the line. They're met with cheers. They're met with support from the audience, the crowd. And that is a huge, huge effort. You can see the exhaustion falling on the floor. But what a great job. Speaking of great jobs, we've got JK on the floor with our teams. I believe he's going to be talking with a couple of our participants. JK, who do you have and just how sweaty are they? Absolutely sweaty, Kelly Latimer. We are right here with our Students, trainers from Safi MI, make some noise, everybody. Yay! Absolutely fantastic. And this is Lieutenant Brian, who, by the way, has an assignment due tomorrow. Um, it's actually my teammates from Command Staff College. So it's our motivation to finish this uh, challenge course uh, as quickly as possible so they can go back to our assignments. What assignment do you have? Tell me about this assignment. Hold on. You said an innovation project. That, uh, each of us need to come up with an idea on a related te technology related uh, project. You started already? Uh, finished, uh, finished. I have to say finish here. Yeah. <laughs> because it's due tomorrow. Now, you are just sweating. You've got black marks all over the body. Tell me about the challenge. Um, to be honest, this is just another day of work. Because uh, prior to this challenge, we actually train regularly about two, three times a week. And what's special about our team is that it consists of uh, trainers in OCS and also uh, my colleagues from uh, Command Staff College who are on course with a busy schedule. Which is the toughest station? Uh, personally, I believe, oh well, major, majority of us think it's the box step up because 
80 reps is a lot of repetitions. It is absolutely. Just behind us is the box where you have to carry. How, what's the weight you guys have to carry on the box? 20 kg. Wow, that's incredible stuff. Any one you want to shout out to now that you're live on Facebook, hundreds of viewers, um, YouTube as well? Uh, firstly, my teammates. And secondly, most important, uh, commanders, colleagues who have supported us in this journey. And of course, those who have cheered for us in the stands. Very nice. Make some noise, everybody. Once again, Safdi and I. Back to you, Kelly Latimer. Thank you very much, JK. Congratulations, Safdi MI, with their timing of just shy of 28 minutes. It was 27.42, I believe, that they crossed the line. We'll get official timings up very, very soon, but what an incredible feat from them. And the fact that they're trying to balance that and their studies all at the same time, I am in absolute awe. So good luck to all of them with their submissions and their assignments for tomorrow, of course. They'll be going for some well-deserved hydration, refueling before they get back to the books. But what an incredible feat from them. They actually don't look all that winded, to be fair. They look like they could do it again, although they'll probably turn around and say, no, thank you. We are done and dusted for the day. We're going to be chatting with a few more teams, hopefully, before we embark on the third wave but on stage at the moment just in case you can hear the background you can see the crowd gathering in the background as well near the stage area prize presentations already underway but before we get to any of that let's cross on over back to jk as he's with another set of the teams JK, thank you very much you uh, kelly we have a face of a lady we were focused on earlier we have lieutenant marie yes yes right, make some noise guys from third day <laughs> She, according to my notes, is a 100-pointer IPPT holder. Is that true? Uh, yes. Tell me about this 100 points IPPT. How did you achieve it? Do you train regularly? What was it like? Um, yeah, we train quite regularly during. <laughs> and compared to IPPT and this challenge, which one is tougher for you? Uh, this Soldier Strong Challenge. <laughs> tell, tell me about the journey. What's it like, uh, Lieutenant Marie? This Soldier Strong Challenge, which is the toughest one for you, the station? I think the toughest one will be the step-ups. Yeah, because it's a very long set, uh, yeah, 80 reps. That's why I realized everyone is talking about step-ups. But one thing I noticed, which I can't see from the cameras, but which I'm not sure if you can see, all of them have got the tire marks on their bodies. Can I talk to this guy really quickly? <laughs> brother, brother, what's happening, brother? You, sh you hug the tire or what? What's going on here? Yeah, I love the tire too much, so I went to hug the tire and flip it accordingly. Uh. Tell me about any tips you give for the next few teams. Uh, I know you don't want to share, but if you can, what would it be? I think the wrong concept for this is sometimes they tend to chong for it, like they rush the, the exercises, but they'll just burn out too early. So I think the key for this is to sustain, uh, yeah, to sustain throughout the whole exercise. So his tip for the other teams is just slow down. <laughs> Don't rush so that he can win. <laughs> okay. yeah. right, please put your hands together, make some noise, our boys from Third Dave and our lady as well. Third Dave, make some noise. <laughs> Kelly, that was amazing. Back to you in the studios. <laughs> <laughs> well, we say studio, but not quite. Uh, we're actually crossing over Jeremy Ratnam over there on the stage with the prize presentations at the moment as we stand by to welcome another group of interviewees. We are looking at all the sights and sounds. As you can see, so many people gathered in front of the stage at the moment for the prize presentations and it's nice to see the solid effort from all of our soldiers their families everyone coming through to take part in the safra bay run now we've got jk with another set of teams shortly as we stand by to anticipate the third wave just a quick Roundup of who you can see on screen at the moment, just going through the motions, getting ready with their warm ups. We've got Sixth Div, that's the headquarters for Sensor Strike as well. We've got the Commandos, Singapore Combat Engineers, as well as CSS Com, that's the Combat Service Support Command that will be in the next wave. They're all going to be gunning to be sub 28 minutes. And of course, you heard it just now taking their time, not rushing through it. That's what the other teams are hoping this next wave will do. But let's see who JK's got with him. I think it's Traddock, I believe. JK. That's right, Kelly. We have Traddock with us, and this guy has to fold his arms. He has to show off the guns. Show me the muscles right now, brother. <laughs> Traddock, make some noise if you can. Traddock the best. Now, this guy is wearing the branded tops. Kelly and I were talking about it. I've got to ask the question, right? And this How come these guys got tops? So who bought this? Okay, this is sponsored by the unit. So anytime uh, 
the unit goes for a competition. It's a uh, it's a uh, customary for the unit to get some sponsored tops or sponsor a, a team T-shirt as a form of support for the unit. Fantastic stuff. Now, that Warren uh, Officer Satya, tell me about the Soldier Strong Challenge. What was it like? Did you guys train for this? Yes, uh, we we had uh, organized training and we also uh, clocked in our own self uh, training. Warren Lam here uh, is from uh, the fitness unit, so he came out with the training workouts for all of us, and uh, so we we just. Uh, came together and then uh, made it happen. Yeah. And which station gave you the most headache nightmare today? Or was everything easy? I guess it's, it's a build-up of the electric. There's two different challenges. If you're starting from the tyre or you're starting from uh, the rowing machine. But I guess all of us can agree on the deadlift. Yeah, you can feel the burn during the, the deadlift portion. Oh, deadlift is the toughest for them, but they still did fantastic. Uh, anything you want to say to people watching at home right now? To come next year and join as well. Yes, definitely. Keep uh, keep fit and uh, carry on to support the, the Army's initiatives. And thank you for all those who are serving and uh, God bless. Is there a Tradoc cheer that you guys have? Or any motto that you guys want to say? Uh, on three, Tradoc. One, two, three. Tradoc! All right, thank you very much to our boys from Tradoc. Back to you, Kelly. Thank you very much, JK. I've just got some of the results in for the timings at the moment. We talked earlier on about how the... Wave one, wave two, you may feel like you're going really fast, but it may not necessarily be as fast as you think. So here we go. We're going to take a quick look at the timings for wave two. Earlier on, I mentioned it was 27.44 for Safti MI with third div coming in in 28.54. Traddock with 2901, Signals 3258, and Guards 3410. Now let's compare that with Wave 1, where Armour came in in 2649, with 2PDF coming in second with 34, tw uh, 3212, 9Div was 3412. Two, so one four, so that's thirty four fourteen. So you can see the difference there in the timings. We'll be pulling up the official leaderboards a little bit later on. But wave three definitely going to want to pick up the pace if they want to try and unseat armor from that top spot with twenty six minutes and forty nine seconds. So here we go. We're standing by. They've gone through their warm ups. They are getting ready to go. Wave three coming your way very, very soon. We mentioned it earlier on. Lane one will be the sixth Singapore Div or headquarters for Sense and Strike. Lane two, Commandos. Lane three, Singapore Combat Engineers. Lane four, Combat Service Support Command, CSS Com. That will be our for rounds. These guys are not going to want to exhaust themselves, but they do want to warm up the muscles. You don't want to be going into this cold. When you're going in cold, that's when the injuries start to come to play. Once again, we'd like to say a big thank you to everyone joining us at the moment. If you're joining us on social media, whether it's Facebook or on YouTube, where we're broadcasting at the moment, my name's S. V1 Kelly Latimer. I'm joined by JK. We're bringing you all the action from the Soldier Strong Challenge happening here at the Army Half Marathon here at the Singapore Sports Hub. We've got all of the action coming your way live as we bring you the insights, the downloads, and the intimate interviews that happen straight after these guys are done. It has been incredible to see our nine teams compete. We've got four more to go before we embark on the finals, of course, will be giving you the full rundown of how it all pans out. All of our runners coming in from their Safra Bay run and the Army Half Marathon at the moment. Still flooding into the National Stadium, as you see. The last words of advi advice being dished out. And so here we go. We're not too far away from flagging these guys off, but all the officials with the final last minute briefings to ensure that everyone knows what they need to do. The five different exercises that you will witness. In the blue there is CSSCOM. And we'll show you the shirts of everyone else as well so you can see who you're watching. But let's talk through the five different exercises they'll be going through as well. Each one of these will be targeting different fitness attributes and muscle groups. We've got the 800 meter row, the 60 kilo deadlift, the 40 kilo shoulder press, the 20 kilo weighted step up, as well as the tire flip. 
testing the team's coordination, teamwork, and ability to function as a two or three man group, which is the minimum fighting force in a unit. These tires, no small task. It's 300 kilos. 300 kilos of solid weight that these soldiers will have to shift over a 30 meter period. Now, if you're not following us on social media, make sure you're doing that as well over on Instagram, on Facebook, and don't forget, our army just launched our TikTok account. So our account is Our Singapore Army. Follow our account if you haven't done so already. And of course, make sure that you're catching up with the live streams here. We've got JK down on the floor with another interview as we stand by to welcome the next wave. But JK, who have you got? Tell us more. Well, remember, Kelly, I was telling you, there was this lady I saw earlier who was in the stands alone. I was like, this looks like a supporter. I'm like, why is she waking up so early to support someone? And I found her with her fiance. We have the two of them, Grace and Wesley. Hello. Hi. Hello. So Grace woke up. What time do you wake up this morning, Grace? 4.15. <laughs> Super early support, fiance. How do you propose to this lady right here? Well, how I propose with the uh, Topayo HTB hub or, or you know? <laughs> propose to her at uh, the Riders Cafe, like uh, last year. Yeah, last year. Were you on a horse? I wish. Uh, <laughs> how was the proposal like? Uh, it was a surprise. We did it uh, over Christmas, and uh, she was very surprised. Yeah. And you said yes straight away. Of course. <laughs> She woke up early today. When they have kids, we'll see if she wakes up early next time to support him. But tell me about this whole journey, right? So when you're doing the Soldier Strong Challenge, which, by the way, uh, I could be wrong, but I believe you, your armor is in first place after the two waves. But we've you got commandos, so we'll see, yes? So when you were taking part in the challenge, could you hear her or was she playing on her phone? No, she's cheering us from the start to the end. I can hear her from the externally and internally. Yeah. <laughs> Deep down in my heart. <laughs> Very nice. What were you shouting to him? Go Wesley. <laughs> See, for, for the whole 27 minutes? Uh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic stuff. Now, can I ask some private personal questions? When are you guys getting married? Is it soon or? Yeah, we're getting married uh, this year, November uh, 13. Yeah. Congre why, why that date? Is it a special date or? Because uh, it's a uh, holiday in Leo. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Getting married, 13 of November. Uh, any things you want to say to the next few teams? Because the next few waves, that will decide your final position, the last wave, wave number three. So anything you want to say to the teams who are participating later? Uh, good luck, everyone. Uh, army strong. We are all in this together. So whoever wins, army wins. I say. And how about you? You know, you are here. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but you are the earliest supporter that came here. You're right. So what's it like in the stands just now? It was actually quite quiet, not so busy. There were not so many people. So it was okay. Now everyone is here? Yeah. You won't be shouting anymore because she's next to you. But anything you want to say to the rest of the people who are here participating? Um, thank you for all your effort. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much to Grace and Wesley. Kelly, I found them. So happy I found them. Back to you. Thank you very much, JK. And also, thank you to Grace and Captain Wesley. Captain Wesley, actually, both of his parents were in the Air Force, but he decided to join the Army. Interestingly enough, though, he only goes to the gym once a week. That's insane. And then to be able to come here and be at peak performance with a team that is currently dominating the time board at the moment with their timing of 26 minutes 49 seconds. Absolutely incredible. But I am sure that he did ramp up the training in the lead up to the Soldier Strong Challenge because there is no way you could enter this without putting in a heck of a lot of work. Speaking of a heck of a lot of work, it is nice to see everybody coming together, all of our volunteers, all of the uh, various units that have been involved in making sure that this entire event has gone so smoothly. So a shout out to everyone who has been involved in pulling this together and making it such a huge success. We head on back to social media over on Facebook. We've got Kelvin Sim saying one heart, one mind, one CSS. CSS gonna be up next. So we're looking forward to seeing them in action. We'll be starting the next wave in a couple of minutes. Our officials just on standby before we clear the space and ensure that we've got all of our lanes ready and raring to go. All of the action taking place right here at the Singapore Sports Hub. 
But we're going to cross back over to JK because this man is on fire. He's got lots more people to talk to. And I think it's going to be a pre-interview with one of our teams. JK, who do you have? I'm actually uh, speaking to the supporters. And one of the teams will be taking part. In fact, we have our friends from CSSCOM. Now, I've got to ask them, what does CSSCOM stand for? Combat Service Support. Oh, so hold, I'm from there during my reserve. Is, I'm CSSB. Is that somehow related? Yes. Somehow, I'm 12 CSSB. We'll just say yes, okay? So we're the same team somehow. All right, so we have our friends Jordan, Ashley, as well as Aravindra, who took part in the different distances. Tell us what distance you ran for the Army Half Marathon. I ran the 10km. I ran the 21km. Yeah, same, I ran the 21. So let's talk about 10 first. What was the journey like, the distance? Was it good? You have to say good, huh? And how was the journey? Uh, honestly, I think it was quite okay. Um, maybe halfway through, it was actually quite tiring. Uh, but the scenery and the people around actually keep me uh, motivated to go on to reach the end point. Yeah. Fantastic. And what was your motivation to finish 21K? Um, so I can have the remaining Sunday for myself. Uh. <laughs> and how about you? I guess it's about treating myself to a good McDonald's. Mm. Yeah. So he's going to earn his calories today. Now, your team is taking part after this in the Soldier Strong Challenge. So what would you like to say to your friends, your teammates, your colleagues? Anything you want to say? All the best can do it. All the best. Together, you all can do it. Well. Yeah, all the best. Together, we can. I realize that the uh, motto is all the best. There's all the saying, the, all the best. All right. So before we wrap things up right here and push it back to Kelly, tell us right now, what would you say to next year's Safra Singapore Bay Run Army Half Marathon Runners? What would you tell them to survive? Train harder or drink up more gels? What would you tell them to survive? Um, the, the training, ramp up training is very important. So make sure you train up before you go for the run. Don't just chong inside, huh? Uh, start early, do conditioning, uh, invest in good shoes. I like that. See, hey, I, can you see the shoes? I'm not sure you guys can see the shoes. We both have the same color shoes. I'm sure of the shoes. Yeah, both of our uh, pink shoes right there. And how about you? The number one tip is to incorporate more slow runs in their training regime. That's good. I'm always incorporating slow runs. All right. In the meantime, though, back to you, Kelly. Thank you, CSSCOM. Thank you very much, JK. Wow. So we're all going to be eyes on CSSCOM in a short while. Here we go. Looking at wave one and wave two. These are the combined results so far. Okay. Armour still leading the charge. Their timing of 26.49, still sitting pretty on top. Will anyone from Wave 3 be able to unseat them? We'll have to find out in a short while. Safti MI with their 27.44 timing puts them in second spot and third div in third place, 28.54. After that, it's Traddock with 29.01, second, oh well, 2 PDF with 32.12, Signals 32.58, Guards with 34.10, ninth Div is 34.14, and Perscom did not finish, so they DNF, so there you go. Wave one, wave two, those are the results in so far, and that's how it looks like after those first two waves. But we do have one more wave to go, and as we stand by, you see them all warming up, getting ready. We are not too far away from setting up. This is sixth div and headquarters for Sense and Strike. They are in that wave. We've got yet another wave joining us there. Lane two is the commandos. Lane three, Singapore combat engineers. And we're also seeing those blue shirts there of CSS Com, but in the black and yellow or the black and gold, that's Singapore Combat Engineers. Before we cross over to lane four, CSS Com. Everyone in good spirits, big smiles, everyone looking eager. We'll see how eager they look after they finish that tire flip. We shall see. We're wishing them all the best of luck. Make sure that you are sending a lot of love all the way over on social media. We are looking forward to seeing you 
over 100 viewers at the moment joining us online on Facebook. If you're watching us on Facebook, if you're watching us on YouTube as well, welcome. SV1 Kelly Latimer here along with JK as we bring you all of the insight, the action, the insides, the outsides and the sweaty moments, the best bits live from the Singapore Sports Hub as we bring you the Army Half Marathon Soldier Strong Challenge. We are standing by for the umpires and officials to clear the lanes and sound the horn to officially flag off wave three. Our soldiers standing by. Tense moments. The adrenaline already pumping. It's a thumbs up from the officials, which means that we are almost there. Here we go. And the horn sounds, which means we are off for wave three. Sixth Div, Commandos, Singapore Combat Engineers, and CSS Com, all joining us in this final wave of the Army Half Marathon Soldiers Strong Challenge. The time to beat to unseat armor from the top spot will be 26 minutes, 49 seconds. And I'm back with you, Kelly Latimer. My money is on the Commandos. Pretty sure yours maybe as well, or who are you supporting right here? Who do you think will be winning? I think there is a lot in the favor of the Commandos because they are, of course, one of our driving forces. But as you can see here, pacing themselves. Pure physical strength and brute force because there's strategy, there is technique, there is placement of teammates. There's so many factors that could affect the outcome of the race. Absolutely. But as you can see, it is the Commandos that managed to be first over the line for the tire flips. Everyone's still looking remarkably fresh at this point. A little bit of the jump and pump there for the shoulder press, but it's 20 reps of that to get them in and through as they load up with the sandbags. Now, something very interesting, uh, Kelly, just reading yes. the notes of some of our soldiers taking part in the Soldier Strong Challenge. The reserve participant for the commandos, um, Captain Darren Lee has got six toes on his left feet. Oh. Very interesting factoid right there. How does, he, how does he wear toe socks? I don't think he would. Yep. All right. In the meantime, though, as we're focused right here on some of our soldiers in the stands, uh, the commandos who are not wearing their classic commando tees, they're well, wearing a see, branded singlet today. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. I was like, oh, hang on a minute. Who's this in the black tee? And then, uh, well, the black singlet. And then I was like, oh, well, it's a good choice of singlet. <laughs> what can I say? It's your favorite what brand. What can I say? Your favorite brand. It is. It is absolutely. But let's see. Okay, here we go. We are. Hang on a minute, Kelly. Still waiting. Hang on a minute, Kelly. Do you realize something? The commandos are way in front, by the way, along with our friends from, I believe, uh, CSS Com. They are way in front of uh, the other two teams. Well, one of the teams just caught up right here in the uh, dark blue. Are uh, they from Six Div? Could be from Six Div. Hold on, so th these light blue singlets are friends light blue from CSS, CSS Com. Com. That's right. So the uh, blue, dark blue should be our friends from Six Div. We'll confirm that in just a little bit. But this is CSS Com. We spoke to the runners earlier. You saw the three of them, yeah? 10K, 21, 21. And they are like, you know, these guys are, uh, have been training like crazy. How has it been so far, Kelly? You know, we've seen two waves. This is the third one, final one. Well, honestly, we, t we talked about it earlier on about the pace being slower. Mm -mm. And that is exactly what we saw in wave two. Mm -mm. Wave two was definitively slower in terms of overall pace. And if you're taking a look at the timings, um, it is really quite apparent. So we'd had wave one coming in with 26 minutes, wave two with 27, but then everyone else sort of filtered in a little bit later. So we're going to see a different pace, I believe, especially with the commandos driving this. I feel like we are going to see a overall faster pace, but it could mean that we've got a potential contender to knock Armour off that top spot. Right, because right now, after two waves of competition, Armour, um, uh, they're in the lead by, I do believe, almost a minute. So about 55 seconds or 56 seconds in the lead. But what's also going to be really interesting is because if the general overall pace is faster in wave three, because the commandos are driving this, we could see our second place team, which is currently Safdi MI, they could also be on Seated. Wow. So this wave will decide every single result. We do believe and we have our, well, 
not money, but our belief in the commandos to push the timings down a little bit, or maybe even a lot. So we'll see. In the meantime, though, let's have a look at our teams right here. I do believe in the uh, dark blue tops, they could be from six div. six div. We have Angelica, Staff Sergeant Angelica, Third Warrant Officer Zach Douglas, and Second Sergeant Keith. How are the comments looking like on the Facebook page? Jolene Wood, Army Ready, Soldier Strong. Yes. Tagline right there. But I think, you know what? There is a lot of online support for CSS. Yeah, I realize, yeah. You know, is it because they are like in, in charge it, of a lot they, of the manpower? Are they famous? Right. <laughs> they got a lot of folks right there to support them. Uh, YouTube, people have woken up on YouTube. Oh, hello, YouTube. We got uh, Rishi saying Captain Ryan the Goat. I think we saw that earlier. Uh, Zaif says, I uh, can see some of our friends right there along with Un Ace. Let's go third div. All right. All right, let's have a look at some of our friends right here. Oh, Commando's clearly in the lead right here, Kelly. Powering through already onto the hex bar, which means that they flew through those step-ups, which everyone has said is the worst they should. Yeah, so they're talking about how 80 rep seems like really a lot, which is, let me tell you, it's just eight reps already is a lot. 80 <laughs> is just incredible. Oh, there we go. Those are our friends right there. Arms up in the air, all the supporters. These look like they're runners. You can see the bibs. They just completed their 10 or 21K. And they're here to support the Soldier Strong Challenge participants. Commando right there. There we go. For honor and glory, deep breath. Let's go. All righty. Now, what we are seeing now with the deadlift is we are seeing them breaking it down into the sets. They are methodically breaking it down into, I think he was doing sets of 10. Yeah, looks like it. So he will, uh, is it 60 in total, Kelly Latimer? 60 in total. Mm -mm. So she's there pushing up their very best. This fella right here, focus on the face. Absolutely giving it their all. Our commandos, of course, winning the best combat unit for years in a row. They know what it takes to cross the finish line to get that gold medal. In the meantime, though, also very close by. CSSCOM. All right, so they're going and giving their very best as well. They've got all their supporters uh, online. Uh, Kelvin Sim says, Daniel and Wei Xian. Let's go, Daniel and Wei Xian. So I do believe uh, Daniel and Wei Xian are taking part right here. Daniel been playing basketball since 13. This And is actually part of the this year's Safsa basketball team. Wow. And Wei Xian uh, participated in dragon boating and loves doing hit and jogging around the neighborhood. Fantastic. So all the very best to our teams uh, taking part right now. Uh, this lady right here, by the way, from 6Div, uh, Staff Sergeant Angelica, has a one-year-old son. Oh. Wow. That, okay. That is incredible. One year postpartum to be able to compete in something like this, that just goes to show the strength and tenacity mm -hmm. of a mother. A mother. I was about to say that, you know. The power of moms, this is uh, unrivaled. The love they have for the children, you know, they're giving their all for the kids and also having time to give their all for the for the nation and for 6Div as well. Absolutely. All right, this fella right here, look at that. He's got a special close-up shot. Supporting his, after running 20, he's not even sweating. No. His, his 21 or 10K is just too easy right there. Just so simple right here for him just to conquer his uh, very special run and then supporting his teammates. Meanwhile, Commandos are moving on to the rowing machine, Kelly. Look at that guy go. Look at him go, Kelly. Okay, this is quite remarkable just to see their pace. I mean, let's look at the clock. We are seven minutes in. We are seven minutes, 45 seconds That's in. That's incredible. They can finish this in 20 minutes or less than 20 minutes. Are we going to get a sub 20? No, that's that's not happening right here, is it? I don't know. Oh my goodness! I don't know. If these guys can finish in the next two minutes, we could be in for a sub twenty timing, which would completely throw everything out of the park. Wow. As you can see, though, the other teams are slowing down just a little bit. We've got six of there who are just starting to feel the pain with those deadlifts. Everyone else still on the deadlifts Kelly, right now. CSS Com bent over. I'm going to take a video of this uh, on the socials. So you hang tight for a while. I want to post this video. Hang on a minute. All righty. JK clearly absolutely in awe of the commandos and how amazing they are looking. So strong right now. Powering through on those rowers. But as you can see, CSS Com bent over, down on their knees. We've got our combat engineers. It is hard work out there. But the commandos are making mincemeat of it. 
Six Div still pacing themselves. A few more to go. But it's Staff Sergeant Angelica Troa who is done and dusted with her deadlifts as we see the commandos still powering through. Technique there on the row could be improved to maximize what they're doing. If he got a little bit more lean back on his push, if he pushed back, straightened those legs a little bit more, he is tall. Oh, he's just giving his all. Can he I just is, see? He is tall, but if he got a little more length and pull back, he would be going a lot further with every row. We can say all of that, but let me tell you, if you compare it to CSS comms form, for example, they're not giving as, as much energy as our friends the commandos are. Well, it is each to his own. It is a personal battle. These are going as these guys are going as hard as they can. Can I just say the commandos, if they maintain this next year, they need to have their own category. Yeah. Yes, it should be. The just old. an intra commando right. soldier strong. I know. This, this, the, the lead is just incredible. So we'll see, though, because it's not just about one leg, because each wave has two legs of teams, right? So they got to hand it over to their next uh, set of teammates. So we'll see. Meanwhile, though, we got a lady right here taking part. Uh, she is from 6th Division, I believe. She's the mother we we're talking about earlier, Kelly. Yep. So she has a one year old son. She loves hobby functional weightlifting. Talk, talk to me about functional weightlifting. Fun well, anything that's functional just means that there's an actual purpose for it, ah. right? So it may not be that she is pushing for a PB to, to be able to deadlift 120 kilos. Mm -mm. What she's aiming to do is be able to pick up her son. <laughs> without getting a bad back. I was thinking about that as well. So she's uh, functional training, which there are a lot of different, there's power lifting, there is uh, um, there is a lot, but then lifting. The thing is, functionally for her job, is she needing to lift 40 kilos exactly. at right. one time? You know? So functional so makes sense for her. Functional makes sense for her, especially with her vocation. So, uh, but you can see smiles on the faces of CSSCOM. It still seems like they're enjoying themselves out there. And the I think that ultimately is what it's all about. All right. We, we want to give a shout out as well to some of the supporters in the stands. Look at them all sweaty after the run, but they're still here to give the all. Oh, that guy's tired right there. 7020 having a bit of a yawn, not realizing he's on li the live stream. Oh, it's look at okay. the commandos. Here we go. Uh, the are commandos off. are making their way over. Okay. A little bit slower than we anticipated. So we're probably not going to get a sub 20. But but they are sprinting wow. to that crossover. Look at that guy right there. Oh my goodness me, look at this. Insane. Time on the clock, you can see it. It's 11.39, so just shy of 11.40 for that changeover. Commandos. One unit, they are going out Whoa. and they legged it. Now they don't, this is what we're gonna see. The commandos are just pushing it absolutely killing. You know, the other teams are still on the rows. They're already moving on to the next leg of participants. The commandos just, killing the competition right there. Okay, so the commanders will go in. And what we noticed earlier on was that sometimes they kill themselves on the row. They kill themselves on the row and the run, they don't have any energy left in the tank to be able to get through, especially those step ups. So we're gonna see technique coming into play, seeing how they can push. But you look at how lean these guys are. It's not just about how you look, Kelly. It's about the inner strength, the inner, power absolutely and i believe that with their training they have that mental dexterity to be able to push through push through that pain boundary that we were talking about you mm -hmm. know when you hit that wall when you think i can't do this anymore they will have that mental strength to be able to say no no i can do this let me talk let me ask you a question uh, we all know the commandos on the left shoulder they've got these uh, acti tape looking things over there yes tell me about that what exactly is that for so depending on the need uh it could be for injury purposes maybe mm -hmm. a slight shoulder impingement rotator cuff injury that they need to support through the motions uh, it could also be to help with the reduction of swelling sometimes as well because uh, it's very good at doing that but i believe that in this case it could be easy to uh, help support the muscles, and it's probably to ensure that he doesn't risk further injury. Well, we're going to speak to Derek right here, who says, uh, Mill commentator says, so simple, you come and do well. I said the commandos are making it look easy, but it's not, right? No, absolutely Ex not. Absolutely. So, Derek, you gotta, you got to listen to the full sentence, Derek. I said the commandos are making it look easy, and I said that they need to, it looks like, Based on their timing, they may need to have their own league, like a super league for commandos. CSS Com oh, coming in now. A different strategy, 13. look at that. A different strategy, Kelly. Yes. So the commandos, 
they pass the sandbags onto the shoulders of their teammates. But CSS.com, they're putting it on the ground. So it's a different kind of technique. Yes. I would, I would actually say good job on the commandos for the teamwork. I right. think handing it over reduces the need for an additional technical clean and jerk to get right. it up and over the shoulder. Uh, teamwork, camaraderie, all of that. I mean, commandos, they work as a tight knit family. I Absolutely. Mean, maybe they should be wearing the CKF. Okay, with that though, <laughs> with that though, we move on right now and have a look at the uh, six Div friends who are right now pushing off and let's have a check in on the commandos. If you realize though, the commandos are not giving 100% on the rows. They're not, pacing themselves out. Not yet. So We're, earlier on, we mm -hmm. saw the commandos going all out because that was their last station. That was their last station. So seeing that the commandos are doing or the second wave, the second leg of these commandos are now doing the rows. That is where you want to be doing it such that um, you are able to pace yourself for the rest of the exercises. You don't want to be going all out on that first thing. You go all out on the first thing, you are going to hit a wall and you're going to hit a wall fast. Yeah, so that wall that we spoke about though, it is tough to climb over, but once they do that, that feeling of elation you described is it's just unmatchable. In the meantime, though, let's have a look at our soldiers right here in the light blue singlets. I do believe they are from CSS.com, and they are just giving their all as well. Our commandos right now should be in the last few meters of their 800 meter row, pushing and giving the 100%. Well, absolutely, just as you said that, they're, moving they're right loading now. up on their bags and they are heading over to the hex bar, which is their next station. So it'll be 60 deadlifts of 60 kilos. And if you look at the commandos right here, they are truly making it look easy, but it's absolutely not easy at all. They are giving their 1,000% for honor and glory. As we know, the other teams are still at the rows. So the commandos with a considerable lead at 16 minutes. Once they finish their deadlifts, which I believe is 60 in total. They have to do 80 step ups and then they have to do their very special shoulder press. And once they've finished the shoulder press, which by the way will be about 20 40 kilogram shoulder press, they finish up with the tire flip. So not easy at all. And let me tell you, these commandos are just pacing themselves out, you can tell. You can look at this. I mean, it's a very uniform, okay. We're gonna do it, one, two, three, four five, six. So it's on average about six reps. So they're going to be aiming for 10 sets of six. There or thereabouts, one of them may be doing six of 10. All right, so now he's stretching. Do you realize these, they're watching, they're making sure they're not injured as well. So it's all about the form, all about making sure that they watch themselves and checking on each other. Checking on each other, that is right. So going, okay, you okay? You able to proceed? Okay, let's proceed one unit let's do this together so the commandos right now we have this impression that they give and push on like a bullet train that's not the case they're actually pacing themselves out giving their all when they have to and then taking a break when they have to absolutely the time on the clock at the moment is about 17 and a half minutes so they are still in good shape to smash the 26 minutes out of the park, I think. Let's give a shout out, by the way, to Chi Briz. Says, let's go, Captain Ben, Captain Adeline, CSS.com. Uh, we forgot to give a shout out to the commandos who are right now taking part. We've been seeing a lot of them on the camera, but they are our friends, Major Aaron Lim, Third Warren Officer Leon Lee, and Staff Sergeant Lee Wen Kang. So they are, of course, uh, taking part in this uh, very, very special. Oh, and Third Warren Officer Leon says, I weigh 60 kilograms. The deadlift is 60 kilograms. Wow. So that's his lifting himself up in the air. He's like John Cena. He weighs a little bit more than me. Right. So <laughs> that's 60. incredible. Uh, so he's still he lifting is right light. There. He is nimble and he is still powering through there. So right now, our commanders are moving on to the what a lot of the competitors have said, the toughest yes. station for many of the competitors. Talk to me through about the step ups, the techniques required, how difficult is it, what's it like? Okay, so if we look at the step ups, uh, well, we're back on the deadlifts with uh, CSS.com at the moment as they power through. Look at the quads there. Um, absolutely remarkable. We'll get back to the step ups in just a few short moments, but as you can see, the definition 
on the quads there. Oh, have the commandos already? Oh, hang on a minute. We've got a team that's moving through. Oh, they just changed over. So one of the teams, I do believe they could be our combat engineers. They're not right now, just finished the rows. They're moving on to the next leg of their teams. That's why you see the team running through. So the combat engineers just completed their rows and the next leg of teams, next set of teammates just moving on right now. Right, there we go. So, so they've got a bit of work to catch up. So you can see how much of a lead the commandos have. But let's talk back about the step ups and just why they are so difficult. As you can see, some of them opting for a single leg, some of them opting for alternating legs. But it's incredible to see just the variation of technique to ensure that each and every single one of them is performing each activity and each exercise with good form. The umpire is very, very strict. Kelly, I must want to say something, Kelly. Yes. So we spoke up and gave a lot of, uh, I would say, a lot of energy and support to the commandos earlier about yes. the timings. Right now, it's actually looking quite close. It's 20 minutes and nine seconds right now. That means Anna could still be in with a shout because the commandos still have to do the shoulder press. They still have to do the tire flip. You think commandos will still win I, this easily? I think, I think commandos will have this by a couple of minutes. The ah. shoulder press, I don't think, is going to be a problem. It's only 20 reps. That tire flip, I think they will be coordinated. They'll be relying heavily on that teamwork that we're mm -hmm. used to seeing from them and that we've already seen on display already. And I think that they are definitely in for a good shout to clear it by a minute, if not two. Oh, wow. So these guys right here, the commandos, uh, right now with the other teams in the light blue CSS com with a lot of online support. Drop us your comments on the Facebook and YouTube if you are watching this online, by the way. Give us a shout out. Give us the names of the people you want to support, and we'll give you a shout out as well. Uh, on stage, we've got Music and Drama Company. Not sure if you can hear this in the background. Uh, these are friends from the uh, Combat Engineers. Uh, that's one of my favorite singlets uh, of all the army singlets, the black and gold. Uh, I was actually in Nisun camp in 2008, and we were with the Combat Engineers there and went to the EMAT to buy these singlets uh, because they look absolutely beautiful. I still have this at home, actually. I'm not sure if it can fit into my NS size. In the meantime, though, just to let you know, I'm not sure if that guy heard me. He gave me a bit of a chuckle. We have our other friends from 6th Division who are right now on the step-ups, one of the toughest stations right here. Finian Saw says, Major, Major Shane from 6th Division powering through. Thank you very much, Finian Saw, for dropping us a comment. Give us a like and share right here on this Army Ready Soldier Strong Challenge right here at the National Stadium Singapore Sports Hub. The commandos are still on the step of Kelly. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's very close. The commandos have not finished and completed the step, but they just did. As we spoke, they just completed almost. I was just going to say there's one more to go, one more guy to go with the step ups. And you, you mark my words, we're at 22 and a half minutes. The time to beat is 26 minutes 44 and 44 seconds. seconds. So. Right 49. now, we are at 20. Oh, there we go, the commandos. We have to see how fast they will conquer right. the shoulder press. 20 reps. I say I say a minute. Really? I say a minute. Let's see how we go. It's okay. 22.40 on the clock. Kelly, I think 20 seconds. <laughs> Not a minute. I think 20 seconds. Look at them go. All right, maybe. But the tire flip isn't easy, though. But uh, Umpire just flagged one of them for a no rep oh. because the arm was not straight above overhead. That is very important. These guys are checking form, making sure that there's no cheating. Pushing that weight overhead, though, is incredible. You're right, Kelly. Less than a minute. All right, so the commandos look like they got this in the bag. They have three minutes to flip the tire right here across the entire distance. And once they've done that, they will finish their Soldier Strong Challenge and should We're be still champions. still sitting within the 23rd minute. All right, looks like you're right there, Kelly. I told you. I think they I got called this. it. They're going to shave off at least a couple of minutes here. We're at 23 and a half minutes from the time we flagged them off and they're making light work of this. So they are just, I just realized that they're probably not even, you know, giving 
I would say, not even going out of second or third gear. Looks like the second leg, they're just cruising through. Too easy for them, but it's not easy at all. No, it absolutely. Is just, it, it is not simple. It's not, it's not. So I have to go back to that Facebook comment, the guy not listening to the full sentence. Derek, I said, they're making it look simple, but it is not simple. However, these guys, you can tell they're not getting off second or third gear. They're just cruising through. They're, they're just, you know, showing that they can do this without getting off second or third gear. Well, they're an absolute indomitable force. We're sitting at just after 24 minutes right now. They know they've got this in the bag. And your champions right now, though, based on unofficial timings, is the Commandos. Absolutely incredible. They know they've got this in the bag, but, but, Who will but, finish second place? No. DQs are still possible. So ah. we need to make sure that all the official results come through unofficially, unofficially. So Kelly Latimer it's is commandos. in the VAR room. Yes, but I'll Video be looking. assistant referee. I'll be looking at all the details, but no. It is an incredible feat from the Commandos to be finishing sub 25 minutes. Didn't I call it two minutes off the time? Well, we said sub 20. And no, then it became no, I sub said 25. sub 25. No, I'm pretty sure we rewind. It said sub 20 at first. And then oh yeah, when it, when it looked like they were right. going to finish and then within the 10 minutes, yes. All right. And then I and then I said they'd shave off two minutes. I tried to make it uh, a bit closer, you know, just trying to get some excitement at the finishing line. In the meantime, though, uh, what's happening right here? The Commandos uh, have have finished. They're coming right here to just give some support to the they other teams. They are cheering wow. on the rest. That is a sense of camaraderie. Earlier on in one of your interviews, we talked about the fact that it's Army that wins. Right, because all of the teams, as long as they give 100%, they are doing their very best. So big shout out, by the way, to the Commandos for you know stepping up and cheering on the other teams to finish the challenge. So the Commandos not just resting, they're, they're probably, you know what, after this they're going to do one more round. That's oh. what they're gonna, they have enough energy to give Casually. another round. Casually, just right. give it another round. This okay. is a Commando as well, this is behind CSS us. CSS Com at the moment. Giving the all as well. Man right here with the white, look at this guy, right? He's got all the galleries I burning. I saw him, I saw him earlier on warming up on the steps in the seats and I felt very small standing <laughs> next to him. He's a giant, look at this giant next to the teammates right there. Uh, these, these, these folks right here from CSS Com, they've got giants. Uh, we got we got cheering right here on the comments. Kelvin Sim says, Captain Benjamin, Benjamin Song. Song, best combo. C Chun Yen says, well done, Commandos. Pram and Jello, come on, CSS Com, you got this, keep going. Commando, well done for honor and glory. Lovely, lovely to see your support, lovely to hear your messages. Keep them coming. We're still bringing you all of the action here from the Army Half Marathon. Soldier Strong Challenge, bringing you all the action live from the Singapore Sports Hub. So CSS come right now, they have to try their very best to finish within the next 30 seconds to make it into third place unofficially. Unofficially. Yeah, so they have to... They have to beat the timing. Let's have a look right now. 27.44 is the third place timing currently set by Safdi MI. So 27.14 is on the clock right here. 27.19. Looks like they can get third place. I Safdie think CSS MI is on the edge of their seats. And Are they going to do it? I, they have, what, 20 seconds to spare. One more they flip. They need one more flip. Come and on. they've got 14 seconds to do it. And congratulations, Done unofficially. and dusted on the floor with exhaustion. They have made it onto the podium spot there. Wow. Within the top three, that is a remarkable feat. And for all those of you who've been cheering on CSSCOM online, I'm sure they felt your support. This fellow right here, absolutely giving 100%. CSSCOM, congratulations. You beat and knocked off Safdi MI from the podium with 10 seconds to spare, I believe. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Oh, and hang on a minute. Looks like Six Div uh, also making their way through. Hang on a minute. It's going to be close. We're going to have to look at the timings because once we get the official timings through. Right, because we couldn't see Six Div from our angle right here, but based on the camera, we're not sure if it was Six Div or whether it was uh, our friends from CSSCOM who made it to the third place. So that's exciting, exciting isn't it? Exciting. It's oh. all coming down to the wire. We'll get the official results out to you very, very soon. But what we are going to see is the camaraderie of everyone coming together to root for and cheer for our remaining team. 
So we got, of course, our friends from the Combat Engineers. Uh, these are our friends Major Yvonne O. Loves Netflix, loves bubble tea and skates. Uh, we have Captain William, who loves to travel with the wife and karaoke. And Staff Sergeant Edmund, who loves gymming. Uh, Ex-national team Dragon Boater. Lovely. Mm -mm. So good to see our national athletes and former national athletes getting in on the action here as well. It just goes to show that sport really does live through everybody. Absolutely and is a great fantastic. foundation. And meanwhile, though, this friend right here is posting a TikTok video. As you mentioned earlier, you can follow the Singapore Army on TikTok. That is right. Make sure that you're jumping on the bandwagon, following all of the updates, and keeping up to date with all the latest. Are, you, are we going to see you dancing on, on TikTok? On TikTok. Right now, more of the interviews on TikTok. I'll leave the dancing to the XMMs uh, and Uncle Raymond. <laughs> oh, by the way, Uncle Raymond now has a dating show. I saw. We may send, uh, <laughs> should send some of our army boys and girls to the dating show with Uncle Raymond. Oh, please, no. Let's have a collaboration. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll find a way no. to make it work. All right, so our friends from the uh, Combat Engineers, they still have a handful of stations to go. The shoulder press, 20 reps. And these are our friends, of course, from the Combat Engineers supporting each other. I was mentioning earlier that this is my favorite singlet of all the uh, army singlets. Why? Uh, because of the black and gold trimmings. I love the black and gold color. You know, all about the black and gold. A uh, bit of, um, I had that for my first car. Black car with gold rims. Oh my goodness. I know it's you were that guy. Abing. Yep, abing. You were that guy. Need oh for my speed goodness. underground. So I've always loved the combat engineer singlet. <laughs> Right. I don't know what to think. Okay, so here's where we are in the lineup at the moment. We are waiting for our combat engineers to finish up our wave three before we can get you the official announcements. We've got a couple of interviews coming your way very, very soon. We'll be heading on down and going to chat with all of those participants that took part in wave three. I chopped the commandos. Mm -mm. Ah, yes. Go ahead. Uh, we're also going to have our... Uh, stage events happening as well. As you can hear, we've got the music going as well. I think that helps to buoy on all of our uh, participants at the moment. The entertainment from MDC is abs absolutely raising the atmosphere, raising they're, the roof. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary this year, by the way. So Incredible. a lot of uh, festivities and activities going on, including a huge concert in November. Just to let you know, we'll be having the award presentations happening a little bit later on for the 21 kilometer, 10 kilometer, and the Soldier Strong Challenge. So do stick around for that. Now, really excited for that one as well. Uh, in the meantime, that's Kim from the music drama company, Kim Ung, absolutely killing it as well. Now, I want to let you know that all of our friends in the meantime at the main stage performing as the prize a presentation for the Army Half Marathon taking place. And at the very same time as well, while all of that is going on, don't forget that you can follow us, all the action on this live stream. All righty, JK with all the information, well done. Hopefully no. you guys are enjoying all the coverage that JK and myself are bringing to you. It is nice to see so many people joining us here for the Army Half Marathon and the Safra Bay Run, of course, it's a great opportunity for families to get out and about. So many categories for you to take part in as well, especially the Families for Life 800 meter run. I think that one's always a fun one. That's one where the parent and child will take part in the 800 meters running uh, at the Singapore Sports Hub, which is absolutely beautiful, you know, to, you know, families for life, dads for life and all of that. We want to make sure that all the families are bonding in. Hang on a minute, I forgot to tell you, uh, Kelly Lassima, yes. that the Families for Life, they got a new mascot launched last year. It's a little bit bunny rabbit. And that's our, that's our birth year, isn't it? That's your birth year. I'm Nianwei. I'm at the end. I'm a tiger. Are you not 87, though? I am. I am. But 87? But January, so right ah. at the very... Oh, I say Nianwei, but you're not going to know what it means. It's the yeah. end of the year. I'm at the end of the, the lunar year. The previous year, year right. Yes. So even though we're the same, same age, age, you're older in I'm the older. in the uh, lunar zodiac. calendar. Yes, yes, there we go. In the meantime, though, focusing right now on the combat engineers. Uh, of course, when I was in uh, Nisun Camp in 2008, a lot of the combat engineers, we went to their E-Mart. Uh -huh. That's located in Nisun Camp. So I was from Medics. So from Medics, we would walk up towards the combat engineers to visit the E-Mart to buy our stuff. Use all your Army, credits. All our E-Mart credits. 
So all the very best, our soldier right here, giving 100% right here. All the very best. Come on, come engineers. You got this now, on the I floor right there. I love how Armo was cheering on the combat engineers as well. That's right. Which is nice. It's a sense of unity that I'm really enjoying. And what? Well, look at that. 80, I, yeah, 80 step ups, man. Incredible. So uh, right here on the floor you saw earlier was Major Yvonne. M Major Yvonne, oh, oh, in case you missed it, loves Netflix and drinks bubble tea every day. I do miss out on the drink, every day. Do you, do, you, do you drink bubble tea a lot? Uh, I used to, but then uh, after a while, the, um, I read about the sugar, so I'm, I've cut it out. The only thing I drink now is coffee because, it's because of my wife, actually. Oh, really? She introduced me to coffee, and, I, and, and that was a mistake because I can't function, function without, without that coffee now. Yeah. So the caffeine I is have not had a coffee today, so I'm quite amazed that I am functioning. You had the apple, so I read somewhere that an apple wakes you up. Uh, really? Um, yeah, so if you eat an apple, yes. it was not as well, powerful carbs. as caffeine, but, but it wakes you up. It's carbohydrates. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you know that one Fuji apple, medium-sized Fuji apple, has about 24 grams of carbohydrates? What's that equivalent to in bread? Uh? That's a good question, right? That's a very good question. Right. I have no idea. Someone can tell us online. All right, let's cheer on our friends right now as Kelly. Thank you very much, Kelly, making your way downstairs. I will make my way downstairs. I'll be going to go interview our teams. We will see you back shortly. In the meantime, though, we are right now focused on to the combat engineers who right here have uh, moved on to the finish line. I do believe that unfortunately they didn't make it to the minimum cutoff time. And so because they did not make it to the minimum cutoff time, uh, they will have to forego their next two stations. But still, 100% effort from the combat engineers. Well done, and congratulations to every single one of them. The very beautiful and talented Kim Ng is on stage with the music and drama company. Some of our colleagues right here from MDC uh, recognize some of them right there. That is uh, Afik on the left-hand side of your screen, dancing away in the blue jacket. Kim Ng, of course. Uh, I could, do believe, Candy, one of my friends there, should be in there as well. All right, so big shout out to Music and Drama Company, MDC, celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. And they are also performing at the Singapore Sports Hub Army Half Marathon. They're singing the very special training to be soldiers strong at the National Stadium live today. Thank you so much. Please do us a favor and drop us a comment. Tell us who you want to shout out to, anyone special you want to say hello to, and we'll try our very best to read out all your comments at the Army Half Marathon Soldier Strong Challenge. You're wondering, where is Kelly Lechtemer? She has gone downstairs to the first floor. You can see her at the bottom left-hand side of your screen, just walking towards Samantha, who's our producer for today's show. And uh, Kelly is just going to be interviewing some of the commandos, as you can see right there. So the camera will be moving on. If you're looking in the background, there's a lot of things going on. we got the Tiger Bomb Active Station, where there's our Army Half Marathon participants, 21 kilometer uh, massaging away. Now, let's push it off to Kelly very, very shortly. She's going to be taking over the very special interviews with commandos. All righty, I am here with the indomitable force that is the Commanders. I've got Lemieux Young with me at the moment. You guys didn't actually train together prior to this. Uh, yes, uh, we only have one uh, team training session prior to this. Uh, so because of our busy schedule, we train, train separately. That is remarkable. The one thing that we noted, JK and I kept noting, was the fact that you all were such a cohesive unit. Guys, it, like each of you stood together, you waited for each other, you were checking in on each other. Is this something that is inherently part of your formation and what you guys do? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, as uh, commandos, we are used to work together. Yeah, so uh, whether in work or in uh, competition or in fitness, uh, we all work together. Now, you guys smashed the timing, like threw it out of the park. There was a point where JK and I thought that you guys were going to complete it in sub 20 minutes. It was really, really fast. Tell us a little bit about how you guys have been training for this. Uh, so we, like I say, we work separately, so we are not very sure how each other train. But uh, yeah, so we just follow the format based on the training program sent out by our uh, leader and our team manager, and we, we work from there. Incredible. I love to see that just like despite all of that, you guys have managed to pull together, managed to gel in that way. You guys then went on and started cheering on the other teams as well. Why did you do that? Uh, because uh, it's a different formation, but however, we are still one army, so we should actually support one another. 
Absolutely fantastic. A great message to echo throughout, and it doesn't matter who you're competing with. It means that you are still standing together as one Singapore army. Guys, this is your time to flex for us all, okay? We want a team cheer to show just how strong and united you guys can be. Can you do that for me? Yeah? All right, here we go. Our commando sitting pretty on top of the leaderboard at the moment. Loud and proud, guys. Let's hear it. Hello! Nicely done. JK, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Kelly. Just speaking to the commandos right there. And let me tell you, man, the commandos absolutely sweeping away the competition with their timing. So I want to let you know right now, if you're watching from home, we're going to be speaking to some of the other teams downstairs and just uh, making sure that every single team gets a chance on the airwaves. At the very same time as well, if you're looking at the crowd, wow, look at all the soldiers and the supporters and families. These, of course, are our friends right here taking part in our very special Soldier Strong Challenge and Army Half Marathon. Our friends from CSSCOM right here give their hearts and all of your biggest smiles trying their very best to get all the pictures done for the socials on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram from the hashtag SSBR and AHM that is the hashtag for this year's Safra Singapore Bay Run Army Half Marathon now uh, Kelly of course will be speaking to another team I do believe she's going to be moving on to CSSCOM very very shortly so this is what's going to be taking place okay right about now she's going to be speaking to all of the teams and in just a little bit she will be of course getting some interviews done so at the very same time as well we're going be focusing on the screen uh, on the main stage this Jeremy Rottenham from power 98 love songs morning show now Jeremy Rottenham of course is right now hosting the prize presentation ceremony and the sponsors ceremony let's head on over to Kelly Latimer at the floor thanks very much JK now I think some people maybe have the perception that CSS com as a support formation they, they don't they're not necessarily as strong, not not as fit as people, but I have. So guys, show me your best flex. Come on, show me those guns. Let's let's see it. Look, look at this, guys. Indomitable. They are they they are incredible. They powered through to come second in wave three and potentially knocking off a couple of other people from the podium as well. Fingers crossed. We haven't got the official results yet, but we are sitting pretty and tight. And it's Adeline here with me at the moment. JK, you saw her earlier on, and we just we were commenting on just how strong and focused you looked. What was the hardest thing for you? I think the hardest thing is uh, when you're tired, uh, pushing through, making sure every rep counts. And yeah, but I think overall, it, it is hard overall, but when I see everyone pushing around me, I think that drives uh, me to go hard as well. Incredible. Now, the women's weights are scaled, right? The step-ups don't have the weight, the, the overhead, the shoulder press is also scaled back slightly. But that doesn't mean that it is any easier. I mean, like, let's let's do a side-by-side -side comparison, right? Like, like this, it would, it would not have been fair any other way, right? But I think you really push through. What helped you, sort of like mentally, when you were up against the wall, what helped you mentally to get through that? I would say it's always, it always falls back to the team. Yeah, never give up. Whenever I feel like it's very painful, it's, it's very uh, exhaustive. Uh, but when I see my left and my right, they're pushing through, they're not complaining, they're not giving up. So I shouldn't as well. Yeah. In fact, I think all of us uh, should motivate one another and we should, yeah, as a team, I think that's what it really matters. So let's talk a little bit about this team then. You guys have obviously worked together. You're, you're quite a large team. I mean, when, I, when we look at some of the other formations as well, not quite as large, but you guys really pulled through. Talk us through the training and how you guys pulled together. All right, so first of all, I think we need to give credit to our team leader, uh, Kevin, Major Kevin over here. Yeah, he arranged for us uh, at least weekly about two times, two sessions, and I think we clocked a total of about six to eight sessions. Yeah, and I think the key consideration is always we must train as a team. Because no matter how good one person is, he may be strong, she may be fast, so on and so forth, but we are nothing if, except like, uh, yeah, we are as fast as the slowest guy. So it's important that as a team we train together and we motivate one another, give each other tips on how to improve. So that as a whole, as a team level, we grow and get stronger together. And as a support structure, right, like CSSCOM, as, as a support service, how is it that you guys make sure, like, do you, does it take a lot to make sure that you guys are carving out time to ensure that you guys are as fit and functional for your role? Uh, fitness is a discipline. Yeah, uh, we are all busy. The army is always very busy. All of us here have our primary job. 
But I think if we are committed, we are motivated, we always have to carve aside a time to maintain our fitness. Yeah. We must break away from the mental model that uh, CSS is uh, no less uh, fitter than other combat support uh, units or combat units. So that is really not the case. Yeah, and I hope that today the team has proved like, everyone wrong. Well, I think you smashed that ideal out of the park. Let me hear it loud and proud. I want a team cheer from all of you with a big flex. These guys coming in second in their wave. Guys, a big cheer. Let me hear it from you. Let's go. One heart, one mind, one CSS. CSS! Incredible. Okay, we are going to have one more interview to come. So we are going to head on over and we're going to go check in with the other guys now. We're going to go pull them in. I believe we're going to do a quick switcheroo. Hello, guys. How's it going? Well, you're, you're, all, you're all looking very sweaty at the moment. Solid effort then. Tell, tell us a little bit about how it was out there for 60s. Uh, I think for us, uh, this was really a tiring uh, challenge. Uh, it's things that we don't do on a daily basis. And uh, we train really hard for this uh, challenge itself, up to uh, two times a week. Yeah, the difficult thing is that uh, we're actually two formations together, Army and uh, Artillery, forming a six division team. So uh, the really difficult part is coming together because of the various schedule or various appointments, coming together to train. But uh, we tell one another that when we are together, we train really hard, we put our time into the, to the challenge, and uh, we come down here to win as a team. So I have to ask then, what, collectively, what was the hardest exercise of all five? Uh, I would say step up. Yeah, step up. Yeah, because of the uh, AD reps. And especially you do it after the rowers, the deadlift. And uh, you know that uh, you still, after step up, you still have rowers and deadlift. Mentally, it's very challenging. You want to preserve, but you can't. Uh, you have to give it all, yeah. And what was going through your mind, like through those AD step ups? Like, I'm sure halfway through you're going, Everything's on fire. I can't move. It burns so much. What got you through it? Uh, I think importantly is I just shut off my mind. Um, I think of all the training that we have done, the effort that my team has put in. Uh, they are just beside me, going through the same thing, uh, and that, and that really keeps me going. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. So moving on from this, then, are you guys gonna stay together and train? Are you gonna look forward and say, okay, if we can do this again next year, if we can come back next year, we're gonna come back and we're gonna be even stronger, even better. Yes, uh, I think that uh, this team is really a uh, good potential. Uh, despite the fact that we start on different levels, you know, uh, not all of us do bodybuilding, CrossFit. Some start from scratch, nothing. Uh, but to come together and uh, do this to achieve this kind of timing within two months, I think is very remarkable. And uh, if there's a chance next year, uh, I want to call them back, and uh, hopefully we uh, do even better next year. Fabulous. A great note to end on. We're going to get a team cheer from all of you guys. So huddle in close and let's hear it loud and proud from this combined unit. Six Div, let's hear it. Six Ben Dilly, come on! Wonderful. And with that, I'm going to call back in JK, who's going to come and join me over on the side here. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, I just, I'm just coming in oh. and pushing you off the camera. Oh, good, How good, was good. it so far, all the teams? I mean, I'm not as sweaty as the rest of them. Not as sweaty, <laughs> but like they're... They've got a bit more presence, JK. Uh, she felt a, bit more, a lot more bounce with me. <laughs> well, a little bit of rebound. A lot of things going on right here. We're going to be focusing on to the main stage right about now because very soon yes. will be the prize presentation. That is absolutely right. We'll be having the prize presentation for the 21 kilometer, the 10 kilometer, as well as the Soldier Strong Challenge. And I think it's going to be very exciting because I can't wait to find out okay. who has actually made... Do you have the results? We know the commandos. <gasps> Yes. But we don't know who are the second and third officially. That is right. So we don't have the official results with us just yet. We mm. are going to be checking very, very soon. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, the efforts of people like CSS.com, you could see that they really had it with their heart. A hundred percent. And online as well, all the supporters, thank you for all the comments, all the, the nice comments uh, from everybody <laughs> online. Fantastic stuff. And also to everyone cheering, your teammates, your colleagues, your fellow army friends and family. Your support online really does make a huge difference. And whenever they review the footage, when they're looking back at either the YouTube or the Facebook mm -hmm. playback, they are going to be seeing all of your comments. And knowing that you are there cheering them on is going to mean so, so much to People them. People like Grace, for example, a lady we saw earlier, fiance, one of the soldiers from Armour, I believe, Wesley. She came early, woke up at 4 a.m. just to support her fiance. Amazing. What time did you wake up? Uh, 5 a.m. <laughs> How incredible is that? Your commentator woke up later than the fiancé that came to support. But honestly, it is remarkable to see that sense of camaraderie, the support systems around it. And I think that goes to show that especially if you are going to be marrying someone who is 
in service. Right. That level of dedication, that level of support is very, very important. You could not be a full-time, you can be a regular if you didn't have the support of your family. Speaking of uh, service, you are not just Kelly Latimer today, you are SV1 Kelly. Tell us about That's this. That's right. So I'm with the SAF Volunteer Corps and mm -hmm. this is our opportunity, my way of giving back. Right. So my deployment today is very different from my usual deployments. You might see sometimes I do the coverage of maybe the BMT enlistment uh -huh. or sometimes we go behind the scenes of different things uh, and we try to create a more personal side of the army and, and give you guys insight that you don't normally see. But it's very, very interesting for me to be able to apply my normal day-to-day -day skills in this role mm -hmm. uh, for Army Half Marathon and for the Soldier Strong Challenge. So SV1 over here uh, to her commanders, SV2 next year. <laughs> yeah, Fingers please crossed. promote her. Fingers, Fingers crossed, Fingers Let's crossed, I'm on my way to a promotion. But no, you know what, it's great. I, I actually saw some of our other SVs who were running as well. They mm. go the distance, they enjoy events like this. Who knows, maybe we could ask the SVs to form up a contingent to take part in the Soldier Strong Challenge next year. For people who don't know, tell us about the SCF Volunteer Corps. Like, who's eligible to join the SCF VC? So, a lot of people get a little bit confused right. when they see men with us. Because they're like, eh? Then yeah. uh, didn't they do NS? Right. So, you've got to be non-NS eligible. So, right. you could be a PR mm -hmm. um, who is over a certain age. First gen, you could be, maybe. Yeah, right. yeah, first gen. Uh, you could be a... Singapore citizen who's sort of like new citizen, uh -huh. but over your NS age. eligible right. age for, for inception, right? Mm. Uh, or females. So we actually get some young girls as young as sort of like 18 years old, wow. and we start introducing the concept through the women's boot camp. So we sometimes get 16 year olds come through. The women's boot camp this year was really good too. So you get a fire rifles? Yes. Ooh. Yes, you do. So we go through something instead of BMT, we go through BT, which is basic training, and uh -huh. that's an opportunity for us to do things like going and doing an outfield staycation. Ah, I'm uh, not sure about the word staycation. <laughs> well, I don't know. We quite enjoyed it. So so we do a lot of the things that the guys do. We fire the rifles. We do all the all the learning about it as well. Camo cream on the face. Yes, wow. camo on the face. I couldn't wash it out for days. But it's an, it's an absolutely incredible way to be able to give back. So we've got lots of people from different vocations, different private sector vocations. They come in and they support in their own way as well. So if you can, SCFBC, go check it out. In the meantime, though, I think we're going to head on over to the main stage Fingers to crossed, check we're out about to head on the over results. for the prize presentation, which will be taking place very, very soon. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed all the coverage that we've brought you so far. We'll try and bring you the additional interviews with our winners a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to cross over to the stage. All right, take care. Enjoy.
the National Day Parade was held at. But, uh, at the Pond Dog, absolutely. And were you there, sir? You were there. Wow, okay. Entire family, wonderful. Okay, so that only means you've got a prize. Congratulations. And he is still in dreamy dreamland. <laughs> I love that. You're going to eat all the way. All right, let's move on to this side of the... Do you want to win? Okay, looks like yes. Are you together or is it just a different family? All right, so your question. You want the hard question or the easy question? You sure? Okay. You asked for it. All right, uh, where do you stay first? Which part of Singapore do you stay? Which part of Singapore do you stay? Uh, west side. And the west side, Jurong and all that. Okay. Can you name me a Safra club in the west of the island? Now, there is one Safra club in the west. The newest is in Chuan Chikang, but I think that's northwest. But there is a Safra club in the west of Singapore. What's that? Uh, Jurong. Jurong is absolutely spot on. You got yourself a prize. Well done. Wonderful, of course, uh, mummy's wonderful for the kitties. They're all going to munch away. That gentleman has been waving at us. Let me go on this side. How you doing, sir? How you doing? What's your name? Jason. Je well, everybody here's name is Jason today. <laughs> It'll be the Jason Bay run one day. With it is a, no, it's not a common name. It's the name associated with which movie? Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, now we know why it's a common name. Yes, yeah, scary. Seven man. Oh, <clears throat> I'm not saying that anymore. Right. Can we just give him a prize? Let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, question. That's right. We have to give him a question. We'll get, you, we'll get you a question. That's right. Here's the question, all right? All right. This question is all about Singapore. Okay. Again, we'll love to give Singapore questions. And the kiddies may be able to answer the question. What is the title of this year's NDP theme song? You might have been dancing to it. It's something to do with your torches, maybe? Something to do with uh, propelling? Yeah, everybody's around saying, I know the answer, I know the answer, I know the answer. Well, what do you think the answer is? What's that, ma'am? Shine your light. Shine your light. It's correct! Brilliant! Look at her face! We some more! You got it. Congratulations to the entire family. Shine your light, yes! That's the, oh, she helped you, huh? That's it, you better share the prize with her. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna give you a prize with her too. Congratulations, ma'am and sir. All right, how you doing, guys? How you doing? Good to see you. And what is your name? Raphael. And what about you? Ria. Ria and Raphael. Mommy, what's your name? Jackie. Jackie, okay, you know, mommy was like waving and waving and waving. And How was the run, by the way? Did you enjoy yourselves? Yes, very tiring. But you did it. You accomplished it. You managed to run with your boy and your girl, and you accomplished the run. So it's wonderful. Let's smile with the camera. Yeah! <laughs> Absolutely fun. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. Question time, all right? It's all about numbers. Okay? You like numbers? You like numbers? Yep, okay. What are the first three digits on your bib? Your bib, sir. Your bib, Raphael. What are the first three digits? 915. 915! Yeah! Wow! Just looking around, just imagining, where should we go with that digit number two? Well done, congratulations, Jackie and family. You've just been great. Okay. Everybody wants to win a prize. He wants to win the prize? Great. Not, not, okay, you're going to film this, right? This is going to go around the world, so your mom's going to be doing this. And look at that. We're now going to space as well. What's your name? Dayan. Dayan. Did you enjoy the run? Yeah. What do you enjoy most about the run? Uh, winning against her. Who? You, you beat your mom to it? Yeah. Mom, how do you feel about that? You okay about that? There could be another race when you go home later, you know? It's school tomorrow, right? Okay, you're in trouble. Anyway, just kidding. All right, here we go. Here's your question. You want the easy question or you want the difficult question? Difficult? You're the first person in the past 10 minutes asking for the difficult question. Okay, now I'm going to give it a difficult question. Can you name me in its fullest entirety 
the name of today's event. It's right on your shirt, by the way. Here you go. There. Here. Take it out. You want to take your shirt? Don't, don't take your shirt off. All right. You can read it off your mouth. That's right. Look at Mom's the camera, plus she's doing everything at the same time. What is the title or the name of today's event? Singapore Bay Run and Half Marathon. You forgot very important. No, very, uh, two very important words. Let's go closer to your mommy. Come on, let's go close. That's right, yeah, right. No, it's the first line. Okay, the first line. Okay, we borrow you for a while. Can we borrow you for a while? There we go. Hold on a second. Your medal's quite heavy. All right. First line. It's Safra and then continue with the Singapore. Safra, Singapore, Bay Run and Army Half Marathon 2023. You got it! Brilliant! Oh man, we got a prize for you. Congratulations. Big smiles in there. Congratulations, day and and five. That kind of raises everything. You and your mom are all square now, you know? So you don't have to beat her up for this another race. All right. We're going to go to the little boost. Of course, uh, giving out prizes here. The Singapore Safra Bay Run and the Army Half Marathon. Of course, if there's a camera coming towards you or a video camera coming towards you, give us your best smile. It's all for publicity as well. And our amazing Army booths are here. We are now at the our Army Merchandise booth where we have so many, many different collectibles. Well, we do have collectibles, which includes the Army Bear. We also have, what's that, sir? Red Lion Bear. You know what? I think I have that at home. That's a wonderful bear. It's like a collector's bear. The Red Lions are here. What else do we have, sir? You've got the Army Bear as well. We have this Ammo Bear. The Ammo Bear. Oh, that is so cute. EOD Bear. The DOD bear, okay, got that. What else do we have? There are a couple more here. What about this one? This one looks really cute. What's this one, sir? This is a SAFVC. Volunteer call, right? Wow, okay. This looks like a hot property. Everybody's buying this one. Great. Okay, wonderful. Now, listen, if you want to get your hands on it, what else do we have here, sir? Uh, with this number one officer, we have this um, commando. We have a blueberry, greenberry, armor in blackberry. Okay, so you got different berries, the blueberry, the greenberry, and the armor and the blackberry as well, too. So you got a whole slew, and okay, how can I forget this one, sir? I think I've also got this at home. What's this special one? Tell me. It's a red PDK. Yeah! You know what? I remember when we had the um, Army Open Houses last year, everybody was rushing for this particular bear. Am I right? Right, yes, yes. I also tried to get it. I couldn't even get it until I had to slowly ask one of our army merchandise. Thank you, sir. Come and get those wonderful bears and amazing, terrific, stylish bears. And there's a wonderful family. He's been I've been looking for him. Where, where did you go? You're the guy with a very heavy metal, right? Yeah, <laughs> heavy metal. How you doing? What's your name? Elson. Louder, Elson. You've got to be a man. What's your name? Elson. There we go. Yeah, Elson. Okay. Can you sing, Elson? Can you sing? You can sing. You want to try singing a song first? What does Elson sing at home? What does he do? Does he sing a lot of things? What does he do? Like the ABCs and Baba Black Sheep. I don't know. What, what do you like singing? Biker. Biker? What's biker? The mommy's asking, but I also don't know what biker is. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. That's it. It's a famous for life. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. You want to help your brother? Come on. Look at that. Let's, let's help him out. Okay, one, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. Go. Twinkle, 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 star. How I wonder what you are. Up on the and the star has faded. <laughs> but he's the big star. Let's give him a prize. Well done. Brilliant. I know. You've been looking for me. I've been looking for you as well. Oh, we finally found each other. The stars have united at last. And, you know, speaking about the United, and now you can't help your brother. Fan him. Yeah, that's right. Give him some support. Another family to play games, I believe. Who wants to sing? Who wants to sing? You want to sing? Who else? You want to sing as well? Okay, what are your names? I need to know your names. We need to know for the entire world to know who these singers are. What's your name? Shelby. Shelby? Singy. 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 Is that right? Okay, great. 
Are you ready to sing? You are my sunshine. If you're ready, this is a great family song. One, two, three, go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy with the eyes. Louder. You love you. How much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, wow. Uh, can we give them all the prizes? I'm just kidding. <laughs> we still have prizes, right? Yeah. We'll give you the prize for you. You're singing. You and your family can enjoy a nice treat at Swenson's. So, fantastic. How was the run, by the way? Did you guys enjoy the run? Yes, we enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Did you train for it? Or did you like, prepare the kids for the, the families for life? <laughs> You're laughing already, but did you prepare them? Like, get ready, guys. Tomorrow, we're going to go to the National Stadium. Get ready. Did you tell them things like that, like prepare them, psych them up for it? Uh, yes, 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 definitely. What did you say? Uh, we received the Dino tea, uh, so they are so excited and everyone have a number. Yeah, then they are looking forward to get the medal. So they finished the race by running. So even the youngest one, although she fall, but she finished the entire the race. She did what? She ran through the entire course on her own. I'm really proud of her. Oh, that's brilliant. The singer did it. Wow. Brilliant. Look at that. That's the singer and the athletics personnel all in one. Well done. Congratulations, sir. This has never happened before. It's the first time ever. Thank you very much, sir. Wow. Okay, brilliant. And of course, to our wonderful family, of course, thank you very much for being here. And to our wonderful singing family, might I add, thank you again. Have a great weekend. Of course, more prizes to be given out. Uh, do you want to win a prize? Final few chances. This is it. After this, the prizes get much bigger. I'm just kidding. Get right. Oh, oh, big oh, elevator. Yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Titus. Titus. It's a cute name. I love it. Actually, it's a very powerful name, Titus. Okay, don't mess around with Titus. Okay, Titus, can I ask you a question? Yeah? Do you know which part of Singapore do you stay? Like Ang Mo Kyo, Topayo, Woodlands, Pongol. Where, which part of Singapore do you stay? Mm. Mommy, you haven't told him where he's staying. Mommy's whispering in the ear. Get a bit of coach there. What's what's that? Bidadari. Bidadari. Woodley, right? That's kind of like where Woodley is. That's a very beautiful estate. Brand new estate as well, too. Okay. Now, here's the question. That wasn't a question. Can you tell me the two brightest, biggest colors on your dino t-shirt? The two most prominent colors on your dino t-shirt, which everyone has. The colors are? Green and yellow. Oh my goodness, he didn't even have to look. He's just staring me in the eyes and saying, I'm gonna get you, Uncle Jeremy. I know the colors. Oh my goodness, mate. What a fantastic son you got, sir. Wow, we're all shocked, that's amazing. That's a Pokemon right there. <laughs> Great. All right, we got a prize for you. Well done, Titus. You amazed us. Wow, the talent, absolutely fantastic. And as we move on to more of our booths, uh, Energy One Gym is next in line. Of course, Energy One here in a booth, only valid for today. Additional two months free when you do sign up for a nine-month membership. Uh, there are various terms, all day, daylight, uh, and of course, exclusively for Safra members, Energy One Gym. It's been amazing. Oh, we got a spokesperson here to help us out. Hi there, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jane. Jane. Uh, Jane, tell us a bit more about Energy One Gym. I know it's basically in all the supper clubs around the country, right? Uh, and you've seen so many personnel, so many people go into the gym. Tell us what more they can experience at the Energy One Gym around the supper clubs in Singapore. All right, so we have uh, seven Energy One Gyms, um, and the latest one is uh, Chua Chu Kang. Right, it's uh, 18,000 square feet, the biggest amongst all our NG1 uh, gyms. So basically, members uh, not only can use the gym, they have direct access to the swimming pools uh, and jacuzzis and um, steam rooms. Did you say jacuzzis? Yes, yes, I did say jacuzzi. Yes. That must be very popular. 
Um, yes, it is. Oh, okay, I'm going to Chua Chukang already. Uh, I've got one. Sorry, Chua Chukang doesn't have jacuzzi. Oh, so where is the jacuzzi? Um, at other gyms, uh, Topayo, uh, you have Mount Faber. Please say Pongo. Uh, yeah, Pongo. I'm there. Uh, yeah, Pongo, yes. Okay, great. I'm there because I'm in Pongo, so I'm going there tonight. Today. Yeah, after this. Okay. And because of today's event, I believe you've got, well, a certain discount or at least additional two months free. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, um, SAFRA members can sign up for this silver membership. Um, it's uh, actually nine months, but on today, for today only, they have get additional two months free. So, altogether, 11 months. Wow. And enjoy the jacuzzi. Uh, yes, jacuzzi as well. And uh, they get access to all Energy One gyms around Singapore, not just one club. That is fantastic. Jane, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Don't forget, if you've heard everything from Jane or here at Energy One Gym, and uh, it's just so much exclusivity for Safra members at the Energy One Gym, right here at the Singapore Safra Bay Run at the Army Half Marathon, where we're engaging with our wonderful family members and our NSMN as well. They're all here. We're also moving down the various booths, including the Safra membership, as well as Safra's, you know, if you haven't thought about it, why not? Because you save more with Safra. You know, there's a three-year membership price tag for a year. That's a price for one year, $43.20. Usually, it's $129.60 or $194.40. And now it's $43.20. So, come by to the Safra membership booths to see and enjoy everything you want to experience with our friends from Safra who are here today. It is the Singapore Safra Bay Run and the Army Half Marathon 2023.
Ashanti Singh on stage to present the 21 kilometers and 10 kilometers Interformation Team Challenge and Soldier Strong Challenge. Sirs, please. First up, the 21 kilometer Interformation Team category. Second runner up is the Ala Team with a time of 8 hours, 53 minutes, and 17 seconds. Bring on the Armor Team! Absolutely stunning for the armor team, receiving their medals individually as well. Again, their combined time of 8 hours and 53 minutes and 17 seconds puts them as the second runner-up in a 21-kilometer interformation team category. And we also have the trophy to cap it off. Well done, gentlemen, and ma'am as well. Let's take a quick photograph together. Once again, give it up for the Armour Team! Brilliant, absolutely brilliant for the armor team. Second runner up in the 21 kilometer interformation team category. And a quick selfie, or weefy in this case. Big smiles, guys. There we go. Proud moment, definitely. And one for the picture book and online as well. We now move on to the first runner up. The first runner up is Six Division Team One. Bring them on! And they too, the 6th Division Team 1, will receive their medals and in a while, the trophy for chalking up a first runner-up spot with a total time of 8 hours, 39 minutes and 15 seconds. Definitely a proud moment for 6th Division Team 1 as we also want them with the trophy that they will have as first runner-up in the 21-kilometer Interformation Team. Please put your hands together for the 6th Division Team 1! And a quick photograph, guys, and Mem as well, please. Step, get closer. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, you heard it. You heard it right here at the National Stadium. Well done. The 6th Division Team 1. First runner-up at the 21-kilometer Interformation Team. And now, the champion, the 21-kilometer Interformation Team category goes to 9th Division Team 1. With an amazing accumulated time of 8 hours, 28 minutes and 53 seconds. Champions indeed. Ninth Division Team 1, well done.
stunning running from the men and the women that is a combined total of eight hours, 28 minutes and 53 seconds, placing them at the Interformation Team category. And they too will receive their trophy, the biggest one we've got today. Give it up for the ninth division, Team One! Closer, let's get closer. There we go. Nice, very nice. Get closer. Let's try to squeeze it a bit. There we go. We want to make sure everyone gets into frame. The champions, nine division team one, clinching it at the 21 kilometer. Oh, there you go. 21 kilometer into formation team category. One more time. Yeah, we have it. Oh, popping fists in the air. They know what it means. Team Panthers, stunningly done in that amazing time of eight hours, 20 minutes and 53 seconds. Coming up next, the 10 kilometer interformation team category. Second runner up is third division team one. And here they come. Their total combined tally of two hours, 46 minutes and seven seconds puts them as the second runner up in the 10 kilometer interformation team category. Medals being dished out and a trophy being dished out as well. And we got the banner too as well. Please give it up for your second runner up in the 10 kilometer interformation team, category third division team one. Well done, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, the vigor and the power of all. Third division team one. Well done, guys. Second runner up there at the 10 kilometer interformation team category. We now move on to the first runner up. And it goes to guards. Step right up, guards. You guys deserve it. A terrific time. A combined time of two hours, 42 minutes, and 59 seconds. Well done to guards again, coming in in our first runner-up position. At the time of two hours, 42.59, 10 kilometer interformation team category. Once again, give it up for guards! Let's make sure everyone's in the frame. There we go, big smiles, gentlemen and ma'am. There you go. Wonderful. Brilliant. Once again, loud and proud. As we now move on to the champion of the 10 kilometer interformation team category. And it goes to the team that had a combined tally of two hours, 40 minutes, 38 seconds. Signals, team one! Congratulations! 
Signals Team 1 wins it. Champions in the 10 kilometer interformation team category. The Singapore Safra Bay Run and the Army Half Marathon 2023. Well done to Signals Team 1. Let's get closer into wall, because here come the winner's trophy, the champions of it all. Signals Team 1, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. They've done it. They have absolutely done it. Signals, speed through skill, right before your very eyes. Signals, oh brilliant. Very well done gentlemen and ma'am as well. Next up, in a couple of seconds, the Soldier Strong Challenge. And here are the results. Second runner up goes to CSS Com 4 27 minutes 39 seconds CSS Com well done guys congratulations Well done to CSS Com 4. Let's take a quick picture together. There we go. Well done, guys. Well done. And congratulations as well. Second runner up that is CSS Com 4. Well done. We now move on to the first runner-up spot in the Soldier's Strong Challenge. It goes to Armour. 26 minutes, 49 seconds. Big hearty congratulations to the team from Armour. Clinching the first runner-up spot in our Soldiers Strong Challenge, which has been going on since 6.45 a.m. And they've got that first runner-up spot. Well done, Armour. Getting together now for a quick photograph with our sirs as well. And Armour's time of 26.49 gets them that first runner-up place. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up once again for Armour! Wow! They really meant it once again. And now, the champion! For 2023, Singapore Safra Bay Run Army Half Marathon Soldier Strong Challenge goes to Commando! The Commandos have done it! 24 32!
exceptional work put in from the commandos in the soldiers strong challenge they were going up the letter and you knew they were going to do it and their combined time at 24 32 did it all for them look at them roll right here in stage and they'll be sent together for a quick photograph and yes we'll have the soldiers strong challenge panel for you please give it up for this year's winners come on down They are the Commandos, absolutely brilliant. Congratulations to you gentlemen. And thank you sirs for presenting the prizes. Thank you very much. Thank you sirs, thank you very much once again. Well, as we've seen all the awards given out this shout on center stage, we have come to the conclusion of the event. We hope that you've enjoyed yourselves thoroughly and we'll see you again in a year from now with the Safra Singapore Bay Run and Army Half Marathon. Also, want to remember that our wonderful friends and partners and sponsors that made today possible, jointly organized by Safra and the Singapore Army, would like to thank the following sponsors for their support. Supported by Families for Life, in support of Made for Families, official sponsor, SD Engineering, official watch, Samsung Electronics Singapore, the official performance technology, Human Telemetrics, our official Muscle Rub, Tiger Bomb Active, the official apparel, Compress Sports Singapore. We also have our official sports, iFly Singapore, the official venue partner where we're all here today, the Singapore Sports Hub, the official hydration partners, 100 Plus and Ice Mountain, the official radio stations, Power 98 Love Songs, and Papa Sancia FM, and our partners as well, AIG Asia Pacific Insurance, Great Giant Food Singapore, Sunfried Bananas, and Lagoon Events. Also to all our runners, before you make your way out, do note that today's photographs and videos will be taken by staff and the Singapore Army at the event are used for reporting and publicity purposes. Please do stay hydrated as you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and help yourselves to the hydration points. Remember also to help us disperse the litter and the cups as well you see maybe on the floor or around you we'll much appreciate that to keep singapore clean and for runners who've deposited your bag with us located at arena park right outside ocbc arena please remember to redeem your baggage no later than 10 a.m and if you're looking for the exits you may exit from behind the stage it will lead you closer to the bag deposit area at the arena park you've all been a great participant from families to friends to NS men as well too. My name is Jeremy Rottenham from Power Night Here Love Songs. We'll see you again next year. Goodbye.
<laughs> and welcome down back to the Soldier Strong Challenge. Make some noise, everybody! <laughs> All right. They are absolutely incredible. We've got our top three Ooh. with us. Our podium places, of course, coming in third was CSS Com. Coming in second was Armor, and the Commandos killed it with their incredible time of just under 25 minutes. A great job by each and every single one of our teams. So I think it's only time that we hear from them. Let's speak to this giant from CSS Com. All his leg veins are coming out right here. Brother, he needs some hydration, brother. All the muscles. Tell us about the team and uh, how are you guys going to be celebrating after this. Well, um, for CSS, we're really happy to get this podium finish. It's uh, a lot of, uh, this is about breaking the mental model. Uh, a lot of people have the perception that CSS is a sub service support, so it's a little bit weaker. But uh, today's a good day. I mean, we are here to prove that, uh, like our fellow counterparts in the other formation, so long as you put in the hard work, uh, we'll all do well. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure the rest feel the same. So it's a great day, and uh, it's a feel good day for us. Yeah, for CSS. Thank you. Put your hands together, guys. Come on, make some noise. Yes. A lot of hard work came in from Ama, who'd done a great job to maintain that top spot right until the very, very end. It was looking so close that you guys were going to clinch it. How disappointed were you when Commandos came in and smashed the time by about two minutes? <laughs> we were actually quite uh, anxious during the last wave, but actually overall, I think the feeling is great. Lah. The, the team has really given their best. Before we came in, we didn't have any expectations, but we all told ourselves to give our all and hard work pays off. So yeah. I think hard work and a lot of heart work as well. The support that you guys showed for each other was really apparent, the camaraderie between you all. Is that something that you guys have taken a lot of time to cultivate or is it something that you guys as a formation already have? Uh, I think Amo has a family spirit, so I believe even after two months being together, I think we, we, are, we are quite a team. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Congratulations. Second spot, well deserved. <laughs> all right, we're going to show off. I know off. they will view that first spot because they would have been looking forward to bring home this baby right here. Oh my goodness me. This is really heavy, Kelly. It's, it's like it legit five kilograms or more. Can you hold it? I don't want to break my wrist later. Let's get the fit people to hold it. Uh, tell me more about yourself. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Leon. I'm uh, 32 years old. So I feel I'm getting too old for this three. <laughs> Too old, but I feel like you guys had an incredible showing. It was like from start to finish, that first leg especially, they went out there and smashed it. 11 minutes, just over 11 minutes to complete that first round. That was impressive. Yeah, so uh, actually it was a shock to all of us as well because we have never uh, did a timing like this in, uh, in training. So I think today just everybody just went on, put on the go mode and yeah, and, and that's why we achieved a time like that. I was, we were surprised ourselves. Well, you know what's really incredible, though? When the other teams really worked on working together and having team training, they only had one. One training? They had one team training where what? they managed to come together because everyone's been so busy, right? Because the so commanders work out every day. La. Yeah. That's the every day you're working out. Is that what you guys Maybe are doing every day? Maybe you should take a leaf out of that I know, book. right? Can I, can I go and jump? Stop, but I have too many excuses. La. Excuse RMJ, excuse Lower Lane and all that. La. But these guys, I want to ask, right, the, the second team. So you guys, you know, split first leg and second leg. The second team seems to be like, you know, just cruising through. You guys, they be had honest. It, they had it in the bag. They had it in the bag. So you guys were cruising, right? Uh, it's actually kind of uh, sticking to your game plan, especially when you know you are ahead. And it's to be composed because you do not want to reach, you know, you don't want to build your lactic acid and then you reach failure. And then you can't, the worst is you can't complete the race, right? So just uh, being composed, stick to the game plan and uh, things will just fall in place. Oh, 
Words I like of wisdom. That. Words of wisdom. I absolutely love that. Well, it's been an incredible run from absolutely everybody here, whether it was the participants competing or all the staff that had actually supported as well and composed the entire whole idea. Mm -mm. So very fantastic stuff once again. Thank you so much for joining us on live stream. If you've been here since, was it 6.30 a.m.? 6.30, we started live coming to you from the Singapore Sports Hub. Hopefully you've enjoyed the live commentary, all the action, the insight, as well as the close-up moments and the interviews with these fantastic individuals who have proved that they are strong of heart, body and mind. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we will see you back again next year. My name is JK. And I'm SV1 Kelly Latimer, signing off officially for today. All of us, are you ready? Soldier oh. Strong! Oh.